player, the refs were blowing, the Sharks were blowing the refs. I think everybody okay. thought it was bullshit. I was listening to um, the radio that morning. That's how, like, that's when I heard about it or whatever. I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? And I'm listening. And even they were like, this is shit. Hockey, the NHL has got to <laughs> get back to... Hey, ref, get off your knees. You're blowing the game. Well, they were talking talking too that I guess the refs that ref these games are there because it's like oh you did such a good job during the season that this yeah. is your reward yeah and then they go in there and blow out like a bunch of calls and shit so it's like eh. it's like the yeah, NHL's got to worry they've got to fix their replay like that shit like that's got to be reviewed yeah, they have replay, and they started I've said that with, for years, that there should be some level of... They were really anti-replay, though, then hockey. They were so anti, kind of like how baseball was. And now that they like, all right, we'll let some of it in. But it's like, either let it all in or don't do it. Well, no, because I don't think there should be, like, replays for, like... You could have replays on little stupid shit, then. If you, like, let everything, like, offsides, are they going to start, like, wanting replays for shit like that? If there's a goal. But... When it yeah, when it comes, I don't know. Like, if somebody was like, if somebody was offsides and then a goal happens, like that's right, well, they do that. Yes, yeah, there you go. Well, they do that. They but should no, have. Not, they gotta have replays with goalie interference. Right. But not. But you know, I know what you mean. Like, you can't have like offsides <laughs> and then so offsides yeah, happens like in the middle of a game. Yeah, offsides happens. Like, then the yeah, next team scores goal, on the next that's play. One thing. Yeah, but, you still have to stop. You know, it's still up to a team to not let the goal fucking happen. You know? Yeah, you can't have a replay for icing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Icing well, that's, happens. That's the way it is in basketball. And, and, and like each quarter, the last two minutes, everybody here likes it. He's just mad because his fucking Portland Trailblazers stink. That's gonna get you timed out, Cracker. Mm-hmm. And you deserve a timeout for that. You hipster faggot. You cunt. You know, we're not, you know, we're not even supposed to have donations, and they're just fucking. I'm sorry, Dickie Noss. Thank you, Joe. You see Tommy when he visits? Uh, no, when he visits Ken, I'm not gonna see him. No, I'm gonna stay way the fuck away. Let me. I, I want. I want to ask you something about Tommy. Tommy, you ever? Tommy, if you, if you ever raped somebody and then made a book about it? No. <laughs> Faggot. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Well, you're a piece of shit, motherfucker. Uh, oh, Sounds you, like you did something you like that. Shut the fuck up. Shut the you fuck up, up ass. Shut your shit. faggot ass. Who do you think you're talking to, motherfucker? Oh shut the God. fuck up, you irrelevant Dude, motherfucker. And we're all. You, ca- you call me a. I'm out. Break your fucking leg, oh motherfucker. Oh, shit, Tommy. Don't say that, Tommy. That's fucked up, What's dude. What's up, everybody? This is Chris from DTS well, Wrestling. Tommy, and you he hurt. even had me convinced thinking that he said. I mean, really? What the fuck is that kind of? Was that some kind of white slang? Was that some kind of southern white boy slang? What does that mean? Like, you gonna skim me or something, you piece of shit? (laughs) (laughs) Nah, Tommy, I know you. You dead a fucking piece of shit. Oh. Oh. Fucking hang up on this guy, Kenny. He's a piece of shit. Fuck you, asshole. (laughs) 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 Nigga, I hope. Mother dies. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, shit. Well, whoever your mother is, I hope she dies and runs into a bus. <laughs> uh, not a bus running into her, but she runs into one. So it's a, yeah, it's it's a slight that's real funny. Head. That's real fucking funny. Yeah, you you're a your birth mother's the size of a fucking bus, you piece of shit, <laughs> retard <laughs> asshole. Oh my god, dude. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying, dude. This is fucked up. Shit. Listen, I, I can't. I gave Ken dude, some money, so we let me right talk now. for a few minutes. So my- what was that? I'm fucking dying right. Are you now. okay, JB? <laughs> God, I'm literally just playing this for your benefit because I know you missed it earlier. Oh my God! He goes. I hope you run. <laughs> I can't even say it. So fucking God, you stupid. My- <laughs> Poor Tommy. <laughs> I hope you run. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like he's a fucking three stooge. He just like boom, just <laughs> you can see how bad he flips out, bro. Wait till all... you see it gets worse. To be honest, hang on before before you play the rest of the clip. I gotta hear it. But Tommy, are you here? Yes, I am. Who is this fucking asshole? I have no idea. You've never heard of this guy before. Never heard of him. Oh, I... I see. <laughs> Uh, yo, he just went curp. Yeah. Why, why is this guy calling you a nigga? Uh, Seriously. 
Yeah, I don't know. He's well. You know what? I, I he used to call my old show back before my other channel, <laughs> like on my old Take channel. That shit, Tommy, next time from that monkey. You Listen, Samson, Tommy, you told me you wouldn't fucking do this shit, to KFC. bro. Dude, you're done. Hey, boy, why don't you get out of here, boy? Oh, yeah, what? <laughs> Whoa. what the? F Tommy. Oh my God, Tommy, what? tell him to go back to KFC. That's racist. What the fuck did you just call me a boy? You cracker ass faggot. Call oh, him a you piece of shit. At least when I get pulled over by the cops, I know I'm not gonna get arrested. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my hey, you really are a racist motherfucker. You I fucking am not crazy racist. motherfucker. Racist. You just call me. Call him a coon. I'm motherfucker, not. you just been exposed. You a sick piece of shit ass fucking, you uh, Confederate you Southern motherfucker. Right dickhead. Fuck you, asshole. Hey, Samson. Samson, are you still there? Yo, I dare you. Yo, I'll fucking, I'll fly to New York, motherfucker. I dare you to call me a boy to my face, you pasty ass fuck. Hey, Samson, Tommy just DM'd me on Facebook and said that you're... Get out of here! Get the oh. fuck... Gotcha. I, I swear to back then, and not not now, Leah, but back then. God damn it, she was a hot black girl. God fuck, I love that. Well, he, he, here's skin. a question that goes back to a couple questions before. Who would you cast as Ganondorf? Who the hell is that? What? Ganondorf is the villain in Legend of Zelda. Gotcha. Oh my god, die. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god! How do you not know that? Oh my god, die! Are you, are you, <laughs> I didn't play Zelda, you cunt. Before, who would you cast as Ganondorf? Who the hell is that? What? Ganondorf is the villain in Legend of Zelda. Gotcha. Oh my god, die. Wow. Oh my god! How do you not know that? Oh my god, die! <laughs> I didn't play Zelda, you cunt. Oh my god. <laughs> what? God, you didn't play you Zelda? Oh my you don't know who god. That is. What do you mean all the shit I give you? About what? <laughs> About like DC and comics and stuff like that. What like, the like, hell oh does that god. have to do with Zelda, like, I dummy? Like, I don't know god. stuff and everything, but then you go on, you don't know who like fucking Ganondorf is. <laughs> well, hold on a sec. Like, hold on. Go play Crash Bandicoot. You now you just make this shit up. Um, it, hold on. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot, you don't know who Ganondorf is. You're talking over me, cunt, for five seconds. <laughs> oh my god. This is what happened here. I never good. put you on the fucking spot like, oh, you don't know anything about fucking DC. I never did that. You know you what indignant me means, Bailey? I make fun of you for being a Marvel fan. I don't ever say you don't know your shit. I don't know one villain from Legend of Fuck Off, and you're like, oh. One duh. villain? It's the only villain. Dude, it's like the biggest villain. Zelda stinks on ice. Oh my god, no it doesn't. No, listen, I, I gotta <laughs> Crash disagree with Bandicoot. you on that. Your fucking opinion is irrelevant. Crash Bandicoot is a great game. Oh. L listen, it, it Crash Bandicoot is fine, but it ain't no fucking Zelda. I, I would agree with that. I know a lot more people Everybody love Zelda does. than Crash Bandicoot. I just, listen, pass How me by. I love the women, I love the ladies, I love the chicks. I love the tits, the ass, and the pussy. I don't do do. Do your fucking job! I just, I don't know, it's just, it's just, you know, we're putting something foreign into our bodies and we just don't know what's gonna happen. Then again, I drink alcohol. You got a dick, I'll follow you. I feel like I can eat my fucking grundle hole. I, I basically bust in on her. I hate your fucking guts. I'll pick your ass, Laura And fuck Bill Goldberg. I play games where you get fucked to death. Queen 
these sons of bitches. Colonizer. A lot of small ones. I had about motherfucking five, fifteen, uh, motherfucking eighty drinks tonight. I'm coming on your ass, boy. I'm coming for that ass. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, yeah. Everybody's kept pounding it in there. Oh my God, die. Omega. He's Howard Stern, and he's got a cool way of talking in the microphone, uh, and he's a very shock jock or whatever. But I have to explain, he looks like a one of those guys that, from Long Island that wants to be a white rapper. That guy is retarded, and uh, yeah, I could care less about him, dude. This is the Epic Voice Guy. You're listening to The Joe Cronin Show. Oh no, Nerdy's here. Oh no. Finally. Look at Nerdy. Look at Nerdy. <laughs> it's Garguts. Daddy Cronin. Whatever. Excuse me, ass ball. Oh my god, I don't even remember what Dave said that day, but it was great. Nice of you to join us, Cronin. How about that? I took a little nappy. Ooh! I woke up. I woke. I fell asleep at ten thirty, and I woke. What a surprise! And I woke up at eleven oh six and ran down here. Was it alcohol induced? No, it was uh, terror. induced. Depression induced. Oh no! Oh, I know. Let that me just. Fancier. I don't oh, think that. this is blanked out. Let me see. Hold on a minute, everybody. You might everybody might hear a mute for a second. Oh, oh my god, here it is. I, I, I've been looking for this clip for a while, and I knew it wasn't edited out, so I was like, I can't play that on the air. Clever. But here it is. Relax and use your indoor voice, you fucking chick lover. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, should just, you should just, like, bleep it. No, I will, I, I will bleep it, because it will sound better that way than that, but it's just, oh my god, you, you fucking... <laughs> I want to tell oh my god, dude. Hey, why didn't you say Bruce Lee lover? That would have been better. Yeah. <clears throat> he said a C word that's disparaging to Asian people. Relax and use your indoor voice, you fucking chick lover. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I think that well, laugh. You... Hold on. <laughs> oh my god. That laugh, I want to say something. What's funny about this is that laugh is me actually react like me actually like going back to hear it again. And hit the record button and then reacting to it again. So that's just really me like they're just laughing. Relax and use your indoor voice, you fucking chick lover. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> 
<laughs> but I am a chick lover. I like chicks, don't mm. you? You, you know, chick chicks are great. Lover. Chick gonna go, lover. Gonna go get yeah, some chicks. Who doesn't love chicken? Chicken lover. Numchuck lover. Numchuck lover. Thorn thorns lover. Nunchuck lover. I love to lung chucks. <laughs> thorn, thorn stars lover. Anyway. Mm. <laughs> Rape Danny Glover, someone in the chat said, I think. A tiger's lover. Anyway. Tiger. What is Tigger running? Tiger, um, tiger penis eaters. Tiger we penis. Asked, yeah, we asked AJ Adams if his microphone came from the same continent his ancestors did. Africa, Ooh. of course. No, you sounds did. Sounds like ass. Yeah, it didn't sound very good. Yeah, he, he's he's been he, Dirty's been no. been saying a lot of shit that just wasn't very funny. So, well, well we were waiting for you, Joe, to bring us in the call. Yeah, we had to endure a lot of stuff from Nerdy. Look, uh, Dave, gonna, Dave, Dave has been saying a lot. Dave, Dave's been saying a lot of stupid shit, and we've had to endure that since you've come on. I'm glad you're here, Joe. At least I just Joe use that joke on you, please. Just, just stop. Okay, try something new. Mm. Oh boy. Oh, oh, yeah, you don't get it. Okay, that's cool. I'll have to dumb down my jokes for you a little bit stupider, make them for the Canadian audiences. Nope. Sorry, Dave. Wow. Well, I was the governor of Minnesota. I sound <laughs> pretty Canadian myself, but now I'm a raving <laughs> lunatic liberal. Are you still in Russia? You're in Russia. <laughs> oh. I might be. No, I'm in no, Mexico. I'm, I'm in Mexico most oh. of the time. Because I can get better drugs for my wife there. My but wife has cancer. Me a special deal. My wife has glaucoma. The people are nice out here. I live in a nice gated community. I'm more afraid in America, to be honest. I'd rather be out in Mexico. You say cerveza. They love it. They bring you alcohol. I have five just, workers. Were you a fucking Marine and defending America? I did. I did defended, defended America, America for years. And now I've got four slave uh, uh, Mexicans locally here who clean up my yard. It's a great time. <laughs> I use them as furniture. Aren't didn't you, you? Didn't you almost start a like, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Didn't yeah. you almost start a union in the WWE and got Vince McMahon really mad? Because um, I haven't. Where's Vince McMahon now? Now exactly. Vince McMahon's at home. <laughs> McMahon's at home watching his son-in-law run the company better than him. That's got to oh. be a kick in the balls, if you know what I mean. I remember Gorilla at WrestleMania 2, and he told me Vince was in the back with a young boy. And I don't mean a Japanese rookie. <laughs> oh, my oh, God, yeah. Jesse. Best revenge would be if Jesse Ventura gets brought back to do commentary. Wouldn't that be amazing? Amazing. They should bring me back. Brought him back. Imagine if Paul Levesque brought me back, how amazing it would be and how good on the mic I'd be. I'd run circles around some of the new people. Normally, I wouldn't want to take a job from a, from a, you know somebody talented in their prime, but with what <laughs> I hear on <laughs> there, I might as well. Your fucking promo? What was that? Would you, would you promote Alex Jones while you do your commentary? I... Maybe if Alex paid me Jesus enough, products. <laughs> if he paid me enough, I'll promote anybody. Hell, I'll promote you if you paid me enough. But here's the Jesse. thing. As long as Joe Biden's alive, my heart's bleeding acid. All right. I want to go to the White House with a condom on. <laughs> Jesse, what? what would you do? What would you do about Hunter Biden's laptop? Jesse, tell us. I'd watch pornography on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just be careful, Jesse. There's a lot of uh, child porn on there, as, especially oh. with his uh, his niece. Wow. He actually fucked his niece. Well, you know yeah. what I would do then? I would make a thousand copies of it and mail it to all the members of Congress. How does this Why? feel? They, they already have a copy of this. I'd take, a, I'd take a still photo of all the children of all the Congress members and put them in the picture with, with Hunter Biden. How does it feel seeing it with your kids? Not too oh, fun, no. is it? Not too great, oh. is it? It's a little more close to home when you start thinking about maybe it's your little kid in the video with Hunter. Very funny. And the FBI covered it all up. How about that? Not this at all. That's how you pay your trip to fucking Epstein Island. You sacrifice at least one of your kids. So, Jesse, is the porno name Kentucky? Who, who's this retarded individual speaking on this program? 
He's a black. Give him, give him a break. Watch out you here, Billy. Jim Cornette once told me, if you can steal a wallet from a moron, you can steal a bank vault from a brilliant person. <laughs> what? What the fuck are you saying, Jesse? The, what a wise words, Jesse. Yeah, I've how, never heard how do that you one. Feel also, liked his, also said he liked his shit, but... You know, Vince McMahon once said that if Linda McMahon saw me inside another woman, she'd say, good job, Vince. Okay. Jesse, would you rather lose your daughter to a man or lose your business to a man? With Vince McMahon, it happened both. You know what I mean? Hmm. Vince McMahon's beyond rich. He doesn't care. He doesn't care if they'd <laughs> caught him butt fucking a dog in front of the locker room. It wouldn't matter. He's a re- he's untouchable. Yeah, he's retired. Now what? Now he goes. Now he goes drinking at restaurants with middle aged women, and Jesse. comes. Like kind of Vince used to like to masturbate under a <laughs> under the tables at restaurants. Oh, for no real reason. This- this has oh. been reported before. This has been reported before. By the way, uh, Drew uh, Galloway here, Drew McIntyre, in this photo, if Leah was on the show, she'd just come, I guess. Yeah, she she was saying a, a while ago that she does, uh, she's like, what did she say, yum yum or something? She's, I swear to God, she said yum yum. She said yeah, yummy or yum, something. Yum. No, she said yeah. sucky. She said sucky. It was sucky. What? Yeah, wow. bro. I a sucky I, white I, dick. I, Dude, and she said, and she would, I'd never heard her say those words ever. So, and she said, sucky, sucky. I swear. Oh, okay. Where's Take the- that pathetic beard off your face and stick it onto your chest. Mm. And get all greased time. up. Get a fucking sword. And be like, hey, lady. Bro, <laughs> and, sucky, uh, sucky. You know, the whole. Get down. On, what, get on the ground, my- and suck on me. Suck my on this. Suck suck on me. Sucky suckies. Hey, I'm this part Scottish. Leah, get on no the grind. Them. Suck on my long sword. Start to suck I'm on been... it. Suck on it, Leah. Which what was it? Monetized this like three Fuck weeks ago, long. or was it? I don't remember. I was trying to find it, but I couldn't I think find it. Was it was like three, four weeks ago that she was like. No, it's, actually, it was probably more. But it's a few very weird. Ago, but she's like, ooh, sucky. Yeah, she was like, ooh, sucky, suck, and then she like stopped herself. And oh, here's like I didn't say that, hey. and like, no, we're going back. We're going back to listen to that. Oh. You know, you, I know you had well, to we, we, we knew that. We knew that. Personating plasma master dong, dong, whatever. <laughs> yeah, dong, dong, you, dong. you missed it has, earlier, Gargots. It was pretty good. And then Ricky Martin has, also bangs his nephew. So that's ooh. oh, this is oh, that's really cool. oh, this is where we found out uh, Ricky Martin banged his nephew. This is the wrong episode. I don't remember oh. where it was then. It was. Sounds like it was further back. Maybe, no, th- yeah, yeah. Th- this is too far back. I don't think she said "sucky sucky" here, right? It was. I don't know, but it's great. It's she says it. I swear to God. Has she ever asked you to do any type of role play, whether it's no. French, Scottish, or no, English? That's none of anybody's business, please. Just no. A lot of girls ask. Well, no, never... Dave, shut your mouth. We're trying to figure out if she's fantasizing with Cronin being the Scottish heel. We're trying to make sure that that's not. What's I would happening. do it. That's why I'm asking. Did, did would, you inhale uh, helium before you came on the show? Because mm-hmm. your voice is sounding extremely high there, nerd. Yeah. Did you inhale oh. paint thinner? Because your jokes don't land, and they're not funny, and they're not smart. Ooh. Um, hey, Joe. Anyway. Hey, Joe. You know I'm part Scottish, right? Yeah. Yeah. You, you know what you're really part of? You're really part of uh, fucking. Oh, I was gonna say something terrible. I'm, I'm Nigerian and Scottish. He's just like, oh, you got some anyway. lamb and like, like PJ has little. joined like, oh, my uh, white supremacy camp, and uh, you know, oh, no. <laughs> he's he's gonna wear a white hood with me. And uh, well, actually, I wear brown shirts. I don't know if you like brown shirts. I, oh. I look great in brown shirts. But... I just remembered shirts. where it's. I, work, I just remember where it's from. Maybe people remember in the chat too, but I just remembered off the top of my head, it was fucking SummerSlam. It was the night of SummerSlam, so wherever... Oh, here it is. I found it. Okay, here we go. What? <laughs> yeah, right there, because I exploded. They're like... It's clearly like steroids and shit. Look at them. Sucky. What? Wow, dude. She said sucky, sucky. Come on. Dude, I never thought my wife would sound like a fucking Asian hooker. I mean, like, this is crazy. Wait a minute. Let's, let's, here we go. Look at them. Sucky. What? Oh... Oh, there's a fake Dave Rosen in the chat. Look at him. <laughs> mm, sucky. That's what she said. Do we get him? Yeah. Wait. Okay, good. Let's, let's, let's see what the, the translator thinks she said. Sucky, sucky. 
you have you know? the cold caption. No, there's um, <laughs> there's a. Indie. Look at them. Sucky. Sucky. What? <laughs> Sadly, the captions yep. the captions didn't she pick it up. She caught herself. Yeah, she said, mmm, sucky. Uh, then she like, dude, she, oh, God, she said sucky. It's so weird. Have you prompted maybe um, doing a role play kind of thing with her in being being him? Or I, no? You know what? I honestly think she does want it, but she does. She won't say it or won't even anything. But I think yeah. I and I, here's the other thing, too. I don't have the money to do it. But if I was rich or had any kind of regular money at all anymore, I'd go out and buy like one of those cosplay outfits, but like a real good one. And I'd get in yeah. shape. I get in shape Joe, first. Joe. Yeah. Spirit. You know, the company spirit that basically, you know, utilizes a by abandoned yeah. fucking Walmarts and shit. Yeah. You yeah. Know, Halloween. But they're, they're cheap ones. Up. They're cheap. I want like a, a real like a, a thousand dollars. amount of fucking costumes. Take advantage of this. Go with her, Leah. Okay, Leah, what suits do you want to go role play with? Oh, I want the fairy. I want the witch. I want this. I want... Okay, babe. Just fucking put them in the fucking, you know, uh, uh, yeah. part here. And let's just fucking get whatever it is that you want. Dude, you got to you gotta plan this out. Yeah. I mean, th this is now the time to get all your Halloween costumes. Yeah, but you know what? I'm, I'm saying, like, I, I, I almost think... I think you'd be better have, like, the authentic stuff. You know, like, it costs, like, $2,000. Oh, and come you on, you're really gonna spend that shit, dude? You're gonna end up ripping it when no, you get I'm not, so fucking no, crazy. I won't, I you're won't gonna spend rip it, it off her. No, no, I, I mean, wouldn't spend it. At least you know it. you can fucking pay, you know. No, I don't think hers. I don't think that. hers matters. I think mine matters. I think what I would do would, you know, what I mean, like I think like I'm the one that has to be, you know. But she won't say it, you know. But I think she, I think I should come home with the sword and everything, you know, and then take out right. my sword. Yeah, like I like a leather. How about a fucking leather fucking kilt? With fucking mm. candy flavored Ugh. paint on your what do you mean? Ugh. Taint? I'm That's thinking, disgusting. There's there's candy flavored paint that you can paint mm. on your body for mm. you know fun, and you know you can do something like you know um, what's it called uh, Braveheart or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, you know that 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 coloring that's on your you know that's it, it's edible mm. it's edible fucking you guys never done this stuff before yeah. like seriously I've, like i've never come out in a dress no um no no okay I no wouldn't the ed okay the edible that. paints okay let's talk about edible paints none of you guys have done that? And glued them to my chest no edible paints let's go back to what i'm fucking trying to talk about edible paints none mm. of you guys have done that i've tried edible ky but a majority of the time the girl that i'm with is allergic to it paints. oh man i paints. just it just we just use nature's glue. Well, don't let her screen, don't let her screen ass in. God. Do you eat Elmer's glue when you're with your girlfriend? Yeah, apparently it's, I'm 42 over the hill, but yet I seem to know more about fucking being frisky and fucking uh, adventurous than you guys. Like, have you guys ever, ever tried this stuff? Look at this. Like, this I mean, is what I'm talking I've about, Dave. The edible bra and panties. Dave, you I see this? I put Peter liquor. I put God, Peter liquor on my dick. Dave, if I could dress up like this guy, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I could wear this Damn. stuff. It's two oh, yeah. Vikings. Yeah, like a full on like Viking look, like this but leather. Still with your fucking with your, Hold on, your uh, a fruit, necklace. A fruit by the foot. <laughs> Hold on, a fruit by the foot fucking kilt. This is a no. See that? That's not edible. That's just fucking. No, I know. I know you're getting into edibles, but Leah hates that. Stuff. No, Leah hates edible thing. Like she's not into that sort of thing. So you want to get all sweaty so that you have that nice. Uh, I don't want you know, to do this. Watch. No, Fox I don't smell and she's going to want to fucking. Yes, I, I don't want to. But she this is what I'm saying that I'm telling you, like these boots, they're five hundred dollar boots. Oh, my God, dude, bro. I've got three rolls of electric tape in, <laughs> in my garage right now. I will make those boots for you. Sound like you've been adopting kids again. But anyway, yeah, it's better be, be made out of baby like, calves. Oh, he anyway, spent five hundred dollars on boots. It's like, bitch. <laughs> I'm not you. <laughs> yeah, the Renaissance fairs are coming up. It's time to put. I on. do love those. I will say that I do love those. Joe, I but I don't go. I don't go to them dressed. No, I hey, go so you to the you 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 know, people, 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 people that work there is like, oh, uh, uh, traveler, your clothing is not that of what we wear. <laughs> you guys ever, you guys you ever, tell him neither is my cock ring. You just you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm neither is my movie. cock ring. My, oh, my virginity. 
You just go. I think Joe's been to these things, but have any of you motherfuckers? Because it sounds to me like even with the gargoyles. <laughs> You go you know, I traveled sir. back in time to the medieval times. Hey, I mean, I've been the one. Not, uh, not pen, uh, fucking Bill and Ted over here. AJ, oh, how did they how did they get you in unless you were fucking playing the slave? Because they don't let black people in those places. Oh my god, how did Getty Lee get in Gargutz's old garage? That's what I said, dude. <laughs> That's this is crazy. Right? It to me. Well, a couple a, I, a white, I just brought a white bitch with chains around her neck with me. Getty Lee, a scumbag troll he is. Look at him drinking something. He's probably drinking troll poison. AJ? It's wine. wine. Yeah, my, oh, son, wine. my okay. son made me go one time. Some stupid cosplay bullshit. Oh, your dad let you go to school? Is that what you said? No, my son made me go one day with him. He was playing cosplay. Oh. White friends? Holy shit. No, there was black people there. It was a lot, I thought. So they played the slaves then? Oh. No. No, you <laughs> So they, they were playing, playing black them. elves, shooting their bow sideways? No, they were playing knights and all kinds of dumb shit. Your was, white friends, or in other words, my friends who graduated. I said, look at all these fucking nerds here. There was like a couple thousand of them. Says the white guy that didn't. That's right. <laughs> GD, man. What was uh, that movie with that shit? It was just like that movie with that little black kid and that, uh, what's his name? What? Like, how are we going to narrow that down? The movie with the black kid? What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm confused. Now I'm fucking confused. Nobody Uh, wants to talk about the blind side, okay? That movie came out 10 years ago. Can can you guys just let the black man talk, please? I forgot the name of that. I forgot the name of that stupid ass movie, whatever, doing, going to that cosplay bullshit. That dude had. I don't even, I don't think I saw that. I don't think I saw this. I'm lost. Role models. Oh. Yeah, role models. I didn't see it. Yeah, role models. Real models, yeah. yeah. I love that movie. Well, that's what I went to one day. Did you really? Was it fun? Yeah, it was fun. Did, were there any hot chicks there, or was it was the movie? Yeah, there was some hot, yeah, there was some hot chicks there, and I was saying the c word all day long too. <laughs> the c word? What? Cracker. Uh, <laughs> What's up, Cracker? Honky. I said everything. Yeah. Did they call you a more? Country music. <laughs> they could call me all kinds of stuff. <laughs> But if, went, they would, but, but, was, oh but if you went, they but if you went, they'd say they would call you lesbian. Did, hey, did you wear uh, cowboy boots? Hell no, I do that dumb shit. Uh, yeah. AJ Adams, do you like to knit? <laughs> you watch it now, you wetter. <laughs> yeah, Joe, we thought of a new um a new skit called the Knitters. It's a bunch of old white women who knit and um. They get really aggressive with it. What do you think? Do you think it could go places? Yeah, but I mean, like, you'd have to have, like, you start with, like, um, oh, there's 15 women in the first season, but by the end of the season, like, three of them die of different natural causes. <laughs> Two of them get in a fight. One of them accidentally slips and cuts her wrist with the, with the you knitter guys thing. Know that AJ, sorry, not, not AJ, sorry. My, my apologies. But um, the illegal here, fucking um, Gargutz. He is oh, uh, known for doing the high jump over the fence at the border. He is uh, quite well known for that. I can I can dig faster now. But hey, hey, way to way to squeeze that one in, Dave. That was hilarious. Hey Gargas, have you ever seen Texas the border shooting at your people? Mm-hmm. Or, yeah, well, we're both Latino close. and we both hate each other, so you know it's just the Latino way. You gotta hate the other Latinos. Just, it, you know. just gunning down Mexicans left and right, and throwing their bodies in the river Rio Grande. Dave, have you forgotten your Spanish, or do you still speak it pretty well? I speak it every day, dude. Who do you, who do you speak Spanish with? Uh, my father. You talk to your dad every day. Well, he's alive. I Wait. live with my father because my father is getting old and needs assistance. I mean, oh, that's do you, right. Do you beat your dad? It's been, uh, no, I don't actually. Okay, that's good. That's good. AJ Adams is just jealous. Don't hey, that you have a relationship with your dad. Yeah, you know, yeah. Don't you get, know don't I, I, I don't. I don't. I, it's fine. I mean, he's black and probably never met his dad is in his life. But that's oh, fine. I haven't met my dad. Nope. Cambier mis panes. You know, AJ Adams is probably closer to his dad than I am with mine. Did you, know? you meet him in jail or after? Oh, that, that's why you're so effeminate. Okay. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. You sound Wait, like uh, a guy that was raised by his mama. Exactly the Manchelson effect. You know what's weird, Dave? Is your hair still long? 
Mm. Is it down to your shoulders <laughs> still? <laughs> that hasn't been that way since because because my voice my voice is something I can't control and it does sound effeminate. But your hair is something you can control and it looks really like like lesbian girlish when it's down to your shoulders. Why is the that? Sure, the ladies sure didn't say that when they were fucking uh, sucking my cock. But okay. that's a fact. No, no, no. Oh, see, I like Getty Lee's hair because, you know, he rocks it. He doesn't make fun of my voice um, to my face. But Dave, you on the other hand, you know what, Dave? I actually respect you. You make fun of me to my face, and I appreciate that. God damn. All right. Suck his dick. I don't think Nerdy I, ever knew I, I where he was going I was with a, any I wasn't of that. looking for friends tonight. Well, I wasn't asking to be your friend. I was just paying my respects. I'm not going to be your friend you're a bit of a faggot also in respects oh, oh. One. oh shit. Don't that word hey, again when, when your voice drops a couple of octaves then come talk to me can you explain to me this headline real quick indian american charged with hate crime over racist attack on fellow indian in california so, taco bell okay so, <laughs> so, so which one <laughs> fucking um uh, what's it called? Casino or fucking uh, dot? Daughter feather. Is I what think he's this is. No, casino is better. I, no, feather, feather is, is just better. like feather means nothing. Casino means like yeah, they're I, taking fucking your tax. This is just it's a, a red, crazy. It's a red skin or brown skin. I think it's a red skin. <laughs> that's it. That's uh, I like it. I mean, I like Indian the, I American. I'm just. I, I'm reading this. I'm like, so what's the hate crime if he's also Indian? Indian it's American like charge. American. Was Somehow crime. is white people's fault. Yeah, and that's yes, what it yeah. is. That's the problem. White people well, blame for Indian so, attack on Indian. So what? Did they get in a fight because it wasn't spicy enough? Like, what the fuck? I don't know. The headline just got me. I was like, what? Indian American oh, charge a hate crime over so, racist attack on fellow Indians. Yeah, but which? Okay, so which Indians, though? Is it like, like fucking AJ said? Was it like brown versus red? Like, is it like... Is it, is it, like is the, that, American is that, the, the, the Hindu American who's just like, no, I don't accept this. This is not spicy enough. And the, the you know, the, the natives. Like, oh, I got the answer right oh, here. It is spicy. It's, Sing, it's the camel fuckers. It's is the, the, is the name is Sing. Camels, right? The name is Sing. So. Uh, yeah, the camel fuckers. Yeah, the Sing, camel fuckers. Hold on. Was it Sing versus Khan? Wait, and was it like Sing at the moon or like S-I-N-G-H? Te, te hinder. Oh, okay. I eat the camel. It's like, you know, wolves sing to the moon. He or said, like, you're a you disgusting know, dog. Versus... You look nasty. Don't come out in public like this again, you disgusting dog, you dirty Hindu. And yelled, <laughs> and yelled <laughs> beef. He does say that. Okay. <laughs> he yelled Holy beef after insulting Jairaman. Jairaman didn't so eat this meat. this is Dot. This yeah. is Dot Indian. In the clip. Yeah, clearly. Oh, wait, there's this a clip of this. Fucker, huh? Oh, there's a video of this. Oh, wait, here's the video. Fuck you, mother oh, bitches. You Fuck you, you mother like bitches. Like you Muslim Muslim Muslim. Muslim. Holy shit, Todd Fair. What about him? He's going to be wait, dropping wait. something real big. Way to spoil it, dude. He's a real man. He's actually a real man. Wow. Get the fuck out of here, you fucking effeminate lesbian. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, the camera fucker got... Embarrassed by the damn hatchet throw. Yeah, I okay. still I'm trying to find uh the, where the goddamn fuck talk he called the guy. Talking about my camel. <laughs> you leave my camel alone. Camel jockey. It's really oh, it's really funny. Like the way it's described is pretty fucking Indian I'm American charge of hate crime. They call it sandbuck. And the funniest it's thing easy. is they're at Taco Bell. That's the funny yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, right. It's, it's like, like new. The, like, the illegal this, yeah. for them. Yo, this headline is amazing. What were they arguing about, though? What's the big deal? I what were know. they mad about? <laughs> what? Who's who's gonna ride the camel? And who's gonna scalp the bear? Wait, they can't eat. Beef what? Again? No, they can't eat fucking. Actually, no, you're right. Oh wait, I got the video. Look at your feet. Oh who my god, here it is. Talk? Stream it. Stream it. Pork, if you I, can. I can't believe that they say that this is a hate crime when this is like if I'm in Taco Bell and I call a white guy a cracker and a greasy, creamy, white, pasty fuck, and then he calls me a cracker and then like we're in trouble for that. Why? No. Man, that's disgusting. You have. You look nasty. 
Alright? Look at your feet, man. That's disgusting. You have... You look nasty. Alright? Don't come out in public like this again. Of course he has the beard, you know? Nobody comes in public like this. He said... Oh, he said you bloody Hindu. Oh! Oh, he must be Sikh, maybe. Oh, maybe one's Sikh and the other one is... Yeah, that makes sense. That's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah, they have their issues. Yeah. Yeah, one's brown and one's Sikh. Just say, don't come out in public like this. Nobody likes it in public, you dirty Hindu. You bloody Hindu. You dirty fuck. Look at my fucking owl face. Owl face. No, owl face, not owl face. Oh, <laughs> we are like we read the camels. My lips are black. Leave my, my, leave my camels alone. It's D Welsh if he had a chin. <laughs> my dog. You kick my dog. Yes, we are sandbox. Actually, it kind of looks like Garguts if you swapped your hair for your mustache. You kick me, Sam. We'll come off my back. Garguts is the uh, perfect, uh, you know, sort of step in for any sort of ethnicity that's not white Ooh, he's just true. dark enough and has long enough hair to play a mexican a fucking sikh a hindu I mean, you can know, even be an old a asian Aztec. dude a you could be an old asian woman he could be a drunk jet I wonder if, I like could play it, a white <laughs> if no, you I'm take your that eyes that. you don't think he could be an old asian woman oh an old asian woman yeah hell yeah well, Garga, she look like an old kung fu master can you say for us? You don't know my kung fu. Yeah. Can we do a quick role play? Oh. I'm walking. I'm walking into order at oh, Tokyo walking, House. Walking, walking, okay. Yeah. Um. Hello. Hello. Oh. I'd like to. Hello, ma'am. Are you? Hello. Um. Can I get a teriyaki bowl? Ah, oh, saki saki. Oh Jesus! <laughs> no, Drew McIntyre is not. <laughs> Drew McIntyre is nowhere to be seen. I just want one teriyaki bowl. <laughs> I am Jim McIntyre. Five dollars, Saki Saki. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to go to the Middle East and become Jew McIntyre. <laughs> I am Jew McIntyre. I am the Jew McIntyre. <laughs> shit bomb. Oh, shit bomb. I'd like to give a first shout out to Old Dominion University for beating my Hokies tonight. We Action. had four turnovers and 12 penalties for 83 yards. Second shout out to NCAA for going to a 12 team playoff format for college football playoff starts in 20. D Wells, thank you. Uh, what a crazy yeah. night. You're, you're, did you say your thank honkies? You, thank you very much. D Wells, I want to shout out my honkies. <laughs> Do you, shout out. I want to shout out to D. Welsh over twenty three hundred dollars last no, month. No white man of uh, proper character would ever acknowledge that uh, D. Welsh is both white and human. Okay, so uh, someone like myself who looked great both in brown and black um, would not acknowledge him as being one of ours. So you can take him because uh, we don't accept the chinless wonders. No, yeah. well, he's coming for you. And again, for I'm sure. now, uh, I'm now saying that I speak for all white people. So, Jay, they, if you were Japanese, you wish would they call white. you Fu Manchu? Mm. I'm going to stick up for D. Welsh because he doesn't have the chin to stick up for himself. I'm going to fight for him. Fuck you, Dave Rose. Mm. Dave, if you were Japanese, would they call you Fu Manchu? Yeah. They go. call D Dave Rose loser Chu because all he does. Oh, man. Right as he was getting to the joke, it crashed. Oh my god. It, it crashed cool right as he got to the joke. Relax and use your indoor voice, you fucking chick lover. Oh. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> yeah. I can't get over that one. I can't believe he. Is. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, Kablooey! Kablooey, Todd Fair! It's the king. The spot oh, oh my he god, Rasaf is here! The king He's in with the chin! chin. You to take me with the chin. Look at you. Oh, it's the oh, oh, I mean,
jungle. Todd Fair. Todd, Todd Fair. Sorry. Oh. Yo, Rustafa, when did you? Fair, damn. Rustafa, how you doing, man? Mr. I, hey, I gotta, I gotta ask this. When did Rustafa look like fucking a star from a nineteen seventies black exploitation movie? Yeah, he looks I mean, like. like oh my I want to sign this guy to dynamite. fucking make movies, man. Like, yeah. This guy is fucking like. You know what? We need, we need a new Shaft movie. Fuck Sam Jackson. This is the new Shaft. Rustafa, if you had, if you had um. Just, just, Mustafa, just fucking play. First of all, no. mustache. No. Mustache fucking 10 points no. for the mustache. And the fro fucking. You can't. You can't, you can't, you can't play this. that, man. That's look fucking. This. Yeah. Hey, Mustafa, this put on this glasses Mustafa. and you look like Malcolm X. <laughs> it's the beer. It's. Guys with fire in their eyes. <laughs> Ooh, the little mother. Ooh, the mother sucker. Yeah. I'll kill somebody. Somebody go die tonight. It's boss N word. <laughs> oh no! It's the real dinner. You know what? He I ate. He ate. So I get I get shit, but uh, fucking uh, said, we got uh, nerdy here saying hard. No, he hard. said okay. knit, 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 <laughs> knit. Knitter. No, this knitter. is the order of the knitters. Yeah, we there's yeah, a bunch of old women. Right. No, we talked about the movie, the movie earlier. The the, the the knitters, all these old white yeah. women, all these old yeah, women, and they're going to get that's killed. What it is? Yes. Do no, you know but, what I used to have in my yeah. possession? I used to have the Afro pick with the fists, but I have to go to the hood to get that. So that's pretty. You know, cool. They don't sell my Rite Aid. That's that pretty cool. New movie. It's called Boss Rustafa. Rustafa is like, I'm getting a new thing tomorrow. It's called Virtue Signal, but do nothing. By the way, I'm getting my hair braided tomorrow. By the way, so I'm gonna look eating out my palm of my hands. Oh no, I'm gonna miss. look like a Dominican. Really, you're gonna get, you're gonna get. Oh, you're, you're gonna get it braided though tomorrow. I I couldn't yeah, get. Yeah, talking about it. Uh, looks like I have Wendell nothing to braid gone. anymore. My hair is flat. It's just gone. It's like, dude, dude, if you go to my Facebook, you'll literally see my hairstyle pretty much like that. I pretty much look like a straight up Dominican. It's sweet. That's Holy what you've shit. looked like before to me. I, so like, yeah. I don't know, but I've seen you and with. I, you change your hair around a little bit. Hey, I'm gonna wear the hair pick you in, your, in your head, in your hair. Nah, I, I, I don't, I'm not. The, I'm not a stereotype, Dave. I'm sorry. Nah. Mustafa, well, if you wore Dave, glasses, would you look like Malcolm X? To Dave, you are because he thinks Malcolm he's... X never had an afro ever. He had a mini afro. What? That, probably that's not an afro. Probably the sharpest dressed black man ever, man. Those fucking those glasses, mm. dude. This Bruh. suit was Malcolm looking... X looked like James Bond or something back right. then. What? I swear to God. Yeah, he looked sharp. Yep. Yeah, yeah he had sharp. a better suit than James did you Bond. See the, did you see that uh, that picture where he's in a building and he's got a he's in his sharp suit, but he's got a fucking rifle because AK forty seven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's me right there. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Oh yeah. Yeah. You hunt, you hunt all the Filipinos, right? AJ. Basest, basest black ever. I love fucking yeah. Malcolm X. I, I, I down, down all the mud hut like livers. Oh, you, right. you are horrible, AJ. Jesus and Christ. he's black. That's the thing. Maybe he's a racist to his own people. Rumor has it Dave Rose is racist, but uh, I don't know how that's possible if I love Malcolm X. But okay, whatever. Let's just yeah, say I've that I'm a Nazi. Yo, yeah, Dave, I've, gone, real I've, I've gone down all the tree midgets. You're right. Hey, Dave, uh, actions real? actions speak louder than words. How about that? Dave, for real, my dad saw <laughs> Malcolm X in his heyday. Yeah. Yo, no, for I real. For real. Fucking, like, fucking white women or what? I, but I could talk about this better than black people can, just to let audience people know. I'm not talking about you guys, though, but, you know, again, why is you it guys. that I can wow. talk about this shit? You guys. You just yes, keep revealing yourself, human. Dave. Despise me. Do you black people uh, prefer not what? to be referred to as humans? Because I, I refer to you as humans. I mean, like, you know, that's why I call you people. Would you well, like? the fact yeah, that you even... Right, the fact that you... Like uh, refer to you as uh, fucking uh, Biden does? The fact Jesus. that you bring that up is are, is kind of weird. Watch it now. To be honest. Look, it's racist. Let me ask this: If Malcolm X was James Bond, would he still be 007, or would he be like 003 Fist? No, or he'd like, be 00 Negro. Nah, wow! Oh, did you just say three Jesus, you, bro. Double O Negro. <laughs> <laughs> is Malcolm <laughs> X back in the time? <laughs> I was Wayne Brady. <laughs> Wayne Brady makes. Malcolm X. <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> oh, he was James Bond. He'd be one eighty-seven. 
Oh no! I was that's... about to say, Joe, was that supposed to be Imus? <laughs> no, it's yeah, actually it's backwards. I did it backwards. It's uh. Zach is buying one eighty seven. He'd be yeah. fourteen. Yeah, one eighty seven. But again, you know what? At least Malcolm X never watched while a female was raped by his associates, which Ooh. we know. Yeah, we know about. He was never an adulterer who cheated on his wife with multiple people. Never. Are you, are you talking about Martin Luther King? Mm-hmm. Martin Luther King was a piece of shit. He's a liar. He fucking Ooh. plagiarized his Ooh. fucking speech. I have a dream. Yeah, he and did. the realest <laughs> motherfucker out there was Malcolm X because he called out fucking um, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Basically, Martin Malcolm. Luther King Jr. was um, what's his name? That we always, Louise, uh, the he guy, the guy who uh, was the guy we were talking about the, the the other day, the one that ripped off uh, all the jokes, the Hispanic guy. Um. Carlos, oh, Carlos, Carlos, uh, Carlos Mencia. Mencia, yeah, yeah, he's. Come on, man, I got a small dick, man. Come on. Like you know, Malcolm X was like scary, yeah, so he didn't work as well. Malcolm X was like, if they don't throw their blood in the river, they'll die. And people are like, oh my god, Malcolm X. But like, but you know, I have a dream. Uh, you're like, oh, Hon- I like honestly, this guy. My favorite speeches by Malcolm were actually after when he came back from Mecca. Those are like my favorite speeches. Oh, because he was brainwashed by them. Explain this to me, okay, black gentleman mm-hmm. on the call. Yeah. Again, and yes, I called you gentlemen because apparently guys in the chat are like, oh, you're calling them guys. Yeah, they're humans. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Gentlemen. This is gentlemen. awkward. Dave is awkward right how now. Based, how based is Malcolm X when he decides to actually have a fucking meeting with his fucking congregation of, of people um, right. with mm-hmm. what was, uh, I guess, considered the American Nazi Party at that point with, uh, what was his name? Rockwell. George something rockwell um yeah. Norman. And, and they both met together at this conference so you've got like black militants black supremacists black nationalists and again right. it depends on your perspective on politics of, as to whether that's right or wrong but you it's know like what my loving kind of your party. people loving your people no matter what race you are i think is good and then you've got the fucking literal nazis who are dressed up in nazi uniforms and stuff they're all in the same room they're not mm-hmm. fighting each other, and they're all fucking there discussing this shit. If people can fucking look this up and, uh, you know, research it themselves, they can make up their own mind. It's mind-blowing, to say the least, that it goes against everything that we're told in, in current media. Like, oh, you know, Nazis hate blacks, and blacks hate Nazis, and this and that. Why don't you guys just look at that? Malcolm X was there. George yeah. Rockwell was there, and they had a, a a total fucking civil conversation where there was a lot of people that spoke. That that should just blow people's minds that that sort of thing can occur. And if you instead of just judging it like, oh, this is just extremist, black extremist, white extremist, oh, it's crazy. Why don't you just watch it and listen for yourself? Listen. So, 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 Dave, I'm not I'm not necessarily disagreeing with you. Obviously, yes, Malcolm X and a number of his followers actually did uh, meet up with the Nazi regime or the uh, the white supremacist uh, KKK party um, that you're referring to. But also, no, mind they, you, no, that no, Marcus, they, it wasn't it wasn't the KKK. They were literal Nazis. They were literal right, national l- socialists literal- of America. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, let's keep it at that. So Very basically, different. Marcus Gar- Marcus Garvey, as well actually met up with uh if you want to call it southern white supremacists because because remember there was a lot of white supremacists that says hey we want to help you get back to africa too you right. know what Shit. i mean so it was like that whole thing you think they would south. work to, they would work together well you know like exactly. we'll get you out of here yeah, but, then, but then but then there's also a lot of black supremacists that also said yeah we got to leave fucking america fuck america and all the shit that it's done to us let's just go back to africa and fucking and there's actually been a big push about a lot of uh black americans that have been going back to uh america sorry to africa in certain countries with their skills that they've built up and, and are now encouraging people to go that's exactly uh, right right there well yeah. and to be and, honest, though, to be fair, right. there's a lot of people going back to a lot of the countries, not just black people. There's there's lots of everybody. Like, I mean, I've known yep. several people that have like, oh, I'm going to go back to Scotland. And even Leah has well, said, like, yeah. oh, yeah, we, we, I could go but, back to Ireland because I have still have citizenship or something. Like, it, OK, but that's the thing, though, is that is it's if a white guy says that it's bad. If a black guy says that it's also bad. 
Uh, like, oh, why, 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 I don't know. Why is it bad? Either way, why is it bad? No, no, but exactly. It's it's viewed in a poor light. It's like, oh, why why go back there? It's just like, well, maybe they do want to go back there. Maybe people it's just a choice. want to start a new life. And yeah, it's it's it. But the problem is that we're being divided now. And uh, I think this is a great segue to what uh, Biden did <laughs> literally the other day with his little <laughs> fucking yep. speech. You want to yep. talk about yep. fucking National Socialist Nazis and fucking imagery and fucking, you know, darkness? Let's talk mm -hmm. about fucking Biden's speech that literally had fucking black and red uh, lighting, which was remnant of, you know, Soviet Is and Nazi. Lord now? Nazi that was strange. We should, I wanted to add music to it. I want to add music to it, you know, like like yeah, the, the Darth Vader music. Yeah, the Darth Vader shit. Play no, all bro. Bed together. Play the Hunt for Red October theme. <laughs> like D Welsh, how about this? Uh, speak with your donations rather than the lack of your chin, because Ooh. when you say no girl wants Dave, that's been a proven a uh, fallacy. Yep, James X wanted her. Go with your money because that's really the only power you'll ever have in your life. Cause there ain't no chance in my oh, happy shit, dance yo. Could you for a chance come and take this dance And leave me here On day Bad thing. motherfucker ain't got no fear <laughs> What the time was What's the time, time motherfucker, motherfucker? Time, I bet you this guy's dead or in jail right now Put it in a happy rhyme motherfucker Yo we got this guy's video from 300 views after a year To 5,000 or something Oil shot Oil shot Cause I'm a one inch yeah. stock What's the time <laughs> motherfucker Set a clock a clock What time is it Dave? I said, clock, clock. Who would have thought that Melly would be the third monetize this champ to pass? Aww. I hope you and your family <laughs> have a much more easy transition. <laughs> Rip Melly. Thank you, yeah. oh, 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 oh. I like dark. Oh, that was yeah. beautiful. I'm That's sorry, but I, 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 must, <laughs> I must tip <laughs> my hat to the. Uh, no, no, yeah. for the day. Oh. Bring in the darkness. <laughs> That's, you know what? That's almost as dark as fucking AJ here. Oh, my God. Not that dark. I'm not dark, damn it. I'm lighter than you are. I hope Amanda Carmen goes you next. You, dude, I make fucking Almost. so jealous. What you I'm talking like, about? Like, oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah, my dog's not dead yet. She's still here, you know? It's shit. So, Joe, you know, why don't you take her back and shoot her? You know, what's funny? you know what's funny about this? The other day, this isn't, oh, it's, no, it's not no. really funny, but I said uh, the, the dog did something, and then my daughter, my daughter was like, Melly, why'd you do that? I hate you, Melly. And I said, geez, why would you say that? This is like her last couple of... I couldn't help myself. I said out loud. I was like, this is her last couple of days. And that's what you say to her? And she oh was like, what? God. And I was like, oh, uh, oh. And I was like, well, you know, yeah, she's old. You have to. Yeah, I was like, she's well, getting old. We're bringing her, you know. And she goes, no. And then she started hugging her and crying. And I'm like, a minute ago, you called her an idiot. Now you're hugging her and crying. <laughs> well, Joe, how'd you, kill, how'd you kill her? Did you chuck her out or did you shoot her? No, oh, she's not Jesus. dead yet. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, if you had ever invested in a firearm, you could have just take her out back to fucking be like uh, old Yeller <laughs> instead of having to go to the fucking place to euthanize. I don't think you can yeah. discharge a firearm this close to you know in the backyard. You can use it for target you practice. Can probably can Save it for Labor Day when you know people are putting off uh, fire. Or, uh, was not fire. Fucking. Um, you know, fireworks. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, like I, Rick and Morty and converted to pickle Rick. So I you give just to you. Hide it in between all those explosions, and I'm sure you can get away. That and was plus, like, if you got neighbors that are pissing you off, you can hide their murders as well. I mean, uh, oh, let's continue. That was Jesus. like when I uh, when I I carried fireworks the across the border live on YouTube. Um, yeah, you can do what okay. our parents oh, did, and uh, they just backed the car into them. That you're right. I could just run her over. Let's go to a clip from oh, Malcolm God. X. That is typical of an illegal. They do a hit and run very often. And, uh, I don't know what you can do. <laughs> just you know what you can sword. do, Joe? You, What's that? you can give her to a Chinese family and let them eat her. Oh Raise your God. hand if you've been a victim of a hit and run by an illegal uh, citizen. Uh, Are you raising every white hand? person That's, raises their hand. Well, uh, it's, too, it's, it's, too, it's too bad it was permanent there. Actually. Joe, we are loving your dog. Totaled give us your dog. We are top of your, top of your doggy. Yeah, you know, maybe I should do the right Gosh. white person thing and, and feed a family of uh... a family of numbsuckers. Yeah, yeah, a whole <laughs> John, family. To be quite honest, you just go to your local Chinese restaurant and you could probably get that body sold <clears throat> off for at least some sort of profit. So. Well, at least oh a free God. meal. I could eat a free meal. I give, just, you know, in exchange. You know, the yeah, Chinese yeah. do boil them alive, right? 
I mean, you yes, I've seen the videos. They, I they were horrific. They, them alive. they they treat them like lobsters, yeah. bro. They're like lobsters, except for lobsters, you put them in nothing but dogs. Like, oh, gosh. And it's like fucking. <laughs> it's what awful. The, what was the one thing that she would do that would like get you like? What the fuck are you doing that shit for? Would she like take shit in the middle of the? Yeah, of the dude, floor? she dude, she's she. That's how you say hello. Her back of her oh. legs. When she's walking around randomly, her back legs just give out and she falls on herself and then gets yeah, up. Yeah, my Ooh. dog did the same shit, dude. Yeah. So, so you know, a quick way to the killer is a hammer to the spine. I thought, yeah, I thought about just a quick hammer shot or like close her in the sliding oh, door, take the you sliding door and just bash vile. it. You, know? no, wait, um, <laughs> you should stuff her and then fucking yeah, just have her like behind me, uh, <laughs> like have her behind me, stuff like. Joe, it's like. No, get Joe, yeah, like, get a recording. I know what to do, man. I get a recording of her barking and stuff and her panting and all these things, and then I stuff her, and then I get one of those little things that you push the button on her chest. And it oh. just plays it, you know. <laughs> or play hey, it. Get, get her stuff <laughs> You're just there, fucking dragging it along. Oh, hey, Joe, you're taking <laughs> notes. <laughs> I should be taking notes. I'll have to remember this. Monetize no, this. I, Joe, it's fucking no country for old men. You've got the fucking um, the pressure uh, thing, and you just shoot it in the back of the neck, and mm -hmm. uh, it's yeah, just the pressure thing. Bad. Yeah, that poor dog. I bet you hear it as all of Pressurized hamster that shoots out there. Organism. Oh. Who, who's the best? Uh, Dave Rose is nudging out uh, Garguts barely here a little bit. Nerdy and uh, not in last. AJ Adams in last. Look at that. Yeah, because I'm I'm the most hated. Like I told you. That's not you got. You don't have a bad score though. Eighteen percent. You're hanging in there. You're not like four. You know. Oh, yeah, I, I'm still the, I'm still election, the hate, most hated person here. Fake news. This election is a fraud. Um, oh, yeah. I, I love it. How'd that other Dave one work Rose. out? Dave, Dave Rose Hate has me. multiple accounts. He's using dead voters' names to vote here in this. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, vote. You know what? I love hate. Dude, Bring it on. You know what's funny was when I called the the pet the, the veterinarian place or whatever the animal hospital, and uh -huh. I I was like I'm like crying it sort of but not really yeah. but like I'm like shaking and stuff and I'm like oh. Um, you know, and I you have, have to, the like, one Native American tear rolling down your cheek. I have to tell them. I don't. That's weird. Yeah, it's Tonto's cock. No, and I'm like, oh, and and then they're like, oh, we have an appointment, but it's not till September 10th and whatever. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then it get, keeps going, and then then she gets to the part where she's like, so you can bring her around the back, and you can stay <laughs> in the you can stay in the room with her if you want to. And then I started like, then I was like, oh. And I, I couldn't speak uh, on the phone anymore. And was, uh, I was like, and she kept describing it and she kept saying the word euthanasia. And like oh. that kept making me like, uh, so like I've, I've had like a headache all day because all the snots all over my face and it's oh, all just God. sitting in my head. And Leah, so Leah it goes, was like ugly crying. Leah goes, oh, I don't think she goes, Leah goes, I don't think you, I don't think you should go in there. I, and I go, that's what I said. I go, you don't want me in there. I'll be freaking out and everything. And Leah was like, yeah, you know what? You shouldn't go in there. She's like, but I'll go. She's like, cause someone has to, I, we can't just let it, let her be alone. We got to make sure it's done right. right, right. right. So, so she's hey, like, I, did, I so, did that Joe with my mama's dog. Yeah, I watched her die, dude. I wouldn't watch her die. My wife is cold as fuck, though. She's like, "I'll go in there and I'll take care of it." And I'm like, "She's like, I actually wanted to know." I mean, if yeah, I injected it too. They let me do it. They let you do it. Yeah, I asked them to do it. What? They let me do it. There's something that I want to know. AJ Adams just killed his mom. No, my mom's dog. You idiot. But Joe, wouldn't uh, wouldn't Leah just no, be with a needle, with the needle. Of, uh, veterinarian strangling uh, Melly? No, that's Jesse. Jesse, 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 Jesse would do it with a pillow. No, no, Leah would. Yeah, Leah's you know, all, I, you know, Leah. She's all sciencey. No, she'd be like, no, there's a needle. You put it in there, and then it goes out. Where's yeah, Jesse I went to the veterinarian, and I asked to say, can I inject the dog? I well, honestly oh, don't. I don't What's think I should go in there. Did, see, himself. there's a. I want to go in there. But here's the thing, like, I if I was alone with her, I'd like to be alone with her, you know, and stuff. But aren't they going to be in there with us? And I'm sitting there bawling in front of some, you know, hot animal hospital lady. You know what I mean? <laughs> Does she really want to see some almost 40-year-old man crying over his border collie? Like, you know? 
I've yeah, got but what time you better watch that? Uh, background on the TV. I've got a question for the blacks on the call. So we got yeah. uh, the, the esteemed uh, Mustafa and the esteemed AJ Adams. Yeah. Is, uh, is this individual in the chat there, fucking uh, Reckless Jeff, is he an actual black? Is he considered part of your uh, your ethnicity? Or I thought I Reckless Jeff was for, a skinny white guy. Oh, I don't know. You have to ask let me, him. Let I'm me not sure. No, I think, I think, I think let me uh, answer this. He's a skinny white guy, I think, Reckless Jeff. Well, first and foremost, he's, he's a got black a piece image, of strudel. So. He has a piece of strudel in his mouth. I don't know. What the? He's appropriating. He's he's look, appropriating. Look, at honest, I mean, oh, look at his photo on you. How can you not like strudel? I don't care what color you are. I mean, strudel's awesome. So. The rock strudel? I I'm, I'm more Maybe of a, he's a German. guy. Maybe he's a black German. I don't know. I think he's a white guy. But why is he using a black photo? That's he's like uh, cultural appropriation. I don't know. You have to ask him. He probably, I don't know. He's he's got small dick syndrome. He wants to he wants to feel big, so he wants to have the black. I'll, I'll tell you if he's asking if he's black, does he got a gun? He'll tell you. That'll show you right there. He'll show you. Oh my God, Joe! No, Joe. Way back when, way back when, do you remember a conversation you had on Monetize This where you were like, you said something about Schwarzenegger? What the fuck is? Fucking oh boy. He says he knows black. all the hands. Why is it why 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 isn't it surprise me that the two black guys here have microphones that never pick them up? <laughs> That's, That's, what racism. Racism. That's what why? Biden told us. Your phone doesn't work if you're black because it's institutionalized racism. <laughs> this uh, this phone is five hundred dollars, sir. This is a five hundred dollar phone. What the hell? Oh, man in the chat says Rostafa's seventies Mac Daddy look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, like, Rostafa's rocking the fucking look right now. I got to be honest. He, yeah, fucking he's, looking, he's looking like Black Dynamite. I want to cast this man for fucking movies now. Like, let's bring Black, bring back like Michael Winslow. Black Exploitation. Exploitation. Oh, yeah, exploitation. And AJ Adams, you're, you're fucking, you're going to be cast too. I don't care what you fucking look like. As long as you're black, you know, even if it's slightly tinged, you know, slightly tinged, it's perfectly fine. We're going like, to fucking. Exploitation was like. Yo, Hollywood's giving money out for fucking movies like this shit these days. Let's fucking ruin a franchise, but just make it all black. Absolutely. I'm hey, fucking you know it, was like, it was like hey. it was like indie films being shot and they had Hey, like, hey, hey you know what my movie will be named? You know, so the you name, the you know what the name of my movie is? What? My, my movie's called Negro Damas. Yes. Yes, it'll be fucking what? Like a, a, a period piece. So you're gonna be wearing like fluffy clothing and it's going to be like in the middle ages and sort of shit now. yeah negro domus i love it yeah what's his name dude dave chappelle uh, fucking... and, and rostoff is going to be in the movie too oh, man. Man. Yeah. Oh, time. <laughs> oh shit I'm, I'm just playing you look like a young paul mooney can, can we That's stop with this black on back black violence please no, i'm just playing he knows yeah, playing. Paul, paul he knows Dumbass, playing. So if, hey, if hey, anything I'm... that we all need to be uniting against one race the when, Chinese. When, when nobody's listening to Dave, he just shouts louder. So yeah, dog killers, yeah. Reptilians. Hate those people. <laughs> it's fucking yeah. Discord doesn't know, work fucking, just one race, Black. The reptilians. Dog fuckers, yeah. They hit, get those dog fuckers out of here. Well, that's what I said. The Chinese reptilians, same thing, right? Jesus. Bad, bad eaters. <laughs> Them shape shifters. Exactly, the Chinese. Throwing star people. It all it goes with, all back to the Chinese. I mean, yeah. Bad, right. bad I mean, eating you know I'm Nobody yeah. finds the guts no. to fucking say what I'm saying. No, it's no, just, I know. They're trying Chinese to make it make sense it's in even the a head. Hollywood joke that the Chinese have been fucking ruling the world for a long time. No, I thought that was the Jews. No, they started was. every damn they epidemic. But, uh, the Chinese are their, uh, yeah. their fucking... Uh, what do you think funded the Jews? Little moles. Dude, they China 2050, all right? Anybody else? China 2050? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, Dave. Do you know what I'm talking about? China it's like 2057, some shit. Their, their, plan, their plan for their particular economic Hong and Kong social status over. in the world. They're halfway there, and it's not even 2025. They're more than halfway. Their system's gonna collapse already. These ghost cities. I don't know if anyone knows about this who's listening, yeah, I, but I know all about that. Dozens of ghost cities, which were created specifically to boost. A, the GDP in a artificial way, but more importantly, to create artificial wealth for those that supposedly invested in this. These buildings, if you look at these videos online, they supposedly have, say, brick, uh, you know, buildings. 
you have somebody yeah, come up yeah. and they rip it apart and it just comes apart. Like there's no brick in this. Like you look into the concrete, it's fucking they put in hay and shit. Like this is not structurally sound. So these buildings eventually have to be brought down because they don't Yeah. China, yes. So these uh, are like yeah, little they... little getaways. No, me. these are little. These City? places are bigger than New York. Oh shit. Yeah, they're Okay. Yeah, they're bigger than Adams, Adams. You are now a honorable uh, and honorary white person because you know honorable. more than apparently fucking everything nerdy who should know things because he's white and nerdy and he doesn't. Oh, no. So you know what? You now have both the white card and the black card. I am now, as the official spokesperson of the whites, giving you an honorary white pass. So, okay. you know. Well, you well, right. Right. Well, well, I can go to the that so means I can go to Tennessee and I get shot. As a no, fellow, no, 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 no. Person, he, 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 he you got to have white. a gay old time. No, he's got a white pass now. He can go as white. AJ Adams, have you ever I been in a Barnes? Have, you, have you ever been in you a Barnes and Noble? Brady to yourself. Yeah, AJ, I've been in a Barnes and Noble. Yeah, I read books. Have you ever? Have you ever you bought anything, anything from there? A fucking country yeah, fucking I bought, bar. I bought books from there. How many books did you read in prison? Fuck. I never been in prison. Probably ever read. Right, God, you guys, you've been in prison. It's called Mexico. It's called Mexico. No, I've never been to Mexico. Fuck that. It, no, that's it, a prison it, for all no, your people. No, no, prison, it's called a relationship with a white woman. Let's oh. continue. Oh, oh shit. Right oh. Dave, did you get charged with molesting your mother? Oh, I've seen that in the chat. Is that true? Oh, my God. <laughs> and when did that happen? Oh, man. Welsh, uh, just to let you know, uh, I am known as a doctor for a reason. So if no, 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 no. Here's no. the thing. Dave, you wanna, would, you, safe, would you challenge him? I you uh, keep your mouth shut. Would you challenge him in a trivia duel, and that will settle it all, since you're so much smarter than him, and he well, thinks he's, he's also smarter one, than you. Well, he's also one, so you could really I'm have trivia, a, you though. guys could have a dox off. Oh, geez. <laughs> See which one of you guys yeah, releases well, the other guy's information first. That that is true. He Suck did. My he did start it. Yeah, one guy's in in Canada, the other guy's in Kansas or or Alabama, wherever the fuck he's at. Jesus Christ! One guy's in a kid. Don't Minnesota? Talk. Yeah, whatever. No, one one guy's in Canada, the other one's dead. But okay. He's I just approve what both of you have too? done, but that's okay. Did you kill him? Kill him. <laughs> D. Welsh is laughing. Pretty sure. D. Welsh is probably really laughing. He's probably got. He probably really has Dave's address. I mean, to be honest. Oh, you have to no. work at an ambulance. Oh shit! Oh look, an ambulance, AJ Adams, an ambulance. <laughs> oh my God, it's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. Oh my God, D. Welsh is. The one, D. Welsh. The one, the one, the one, D. Welsh. Audio jungle. Time to support the chat. Negative points, Todd Fair. Whoa. You can't with me, bitch. What an asshole. You know what? I'm going to throw my name in a hat. Give me every neg. Whoa. 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 What the Nitter. hell? Please. What? what? Oh. Awesome. Give me every negative point you got. Oh, I don't negative. Care. Okay. Oh, negative. Okay. Oh, my God. Jesus. Blame his uh, bad phone for... Uh, Right? Yeah, oh, Rostava's phone's making him sound like he hates his own people. What but... is <laughs> There he goes. Yeah. <laughs> again, I can't <laughs> he's, in a he's in a wooden tunnel somewhere. All right. We first of all, I have to spin the wheel for uh, um, D. Welsh. I have to spin the wheel for him Man, first. Wonder. But he this got is hung up again. Don't say hung around when he's on the air. Um, <laughs> also, this is from D. Welsh's the earlier. Hungman. This is from his donation earlier, too. It's not from this one. So we're going to go 5 to 19. And then we'll go uh, 20 mm. to, uh, what, I don't know, 51 uh, times, we'll say 100. I can see fucking. What? You, you can see what? Are you trying to do the math right now? 
Yeah, I'm doing math in my head, yeah. No, always dude, like, I'm not working like, morning math. It's like impossible to understand. Like, it's hard bro. to figure it out, Gargutz, for me, you know? They're all, always nervous trying to do oh math. He's having a fucking... You have the most intelligent man in the community here on the call. I can easily do this in my mind, so... No, I see, that's what I'm... I would like I would like you to an ex accept a challenge from D Welsh for trivia and whoever wins okay, I, okay. Is this so for the sixth or seventh time for the first time you mean no no, no. For the sixth and seventh time what topics are you looking for us to discuss movies uh -oh. basic trivia if you, there's no no no, 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 no no at least fucking uh, Gargutz is being a little more specific you got to be specific. There and could be, no just it could be, and it could be, it could be like a, it could be like a. Um, what if we did Jeopardy? This, what if we did this, Jeopardy? Why don't we do Jeopardy? Remember we did that before. Jeopardy. Oh. Yeah, yeah do Jeopardy. that's what I'm saying. Like, just it'll or be a random Jeopardy. Thing. Yeah, do it's all Asian. Do honky, do honky Jeopardy. Yeah. Why is everything Jeopardy? Goddamn. And we'll only only have questions about World War II's bombings, and we'll do Jeopardy. Honky honkers, okay. is that what you said? Okay, what yeah. with the Mexican show? Do we call it the wet the wet show? No, come on. Oh my I mean, god. Would you on, accept man. a challenge from D Walsh in that regard? All right. Well, Are you fucking retarded, stupid? He is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here comes you the spin for said Todd. Yes or no. Even D Walsh doesn't want to do that. He's like, nah. This is for yeah, Todd he, Fair. He's really, bucks. It's, it's the fact I keep asking the same thing. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm you, down. You keep deflecting. What topic do you want to fucking discuss? Well, what? The, the, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. No, you got to be specific. Like, what the fuck is it that you want me to debate him on? Fuck. Okay, sinners Santa, and how many kids do they eat? eat. I got, I got a topic. Eight. Who said that? Hold on. You called me. U.S. Senators and how many kids Adams? do they eat? Hold on. Don't talk, you fucking AJ. racist. A.J. Adams, give us a second. We're talking here. You, no, you, no, 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 no. Me I yield to the black man. Let the black man speak. Okay. Jeez. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, whatever. No, nah, fuck him. Reparations. Fuck him. You said, okay, so <laughs> you called me retarded, and then you said I challenged you to a debate. Who said anything about a debate? Oh, okay. Did you use oh. this? I suggested a, just a trivia because you guys won't stop bitching yes, at each other like you're married. On what topic? What if we did, like Joe suggested, oh just a Jeopardy? You know, what if we... You're interrupting me. I, you asked me a question and you don't like... Yeah, me and, and do you it have literally Down is syndrome? a simple Sorry, fucking do you have Down field. syndrome? Do you have Down syndrome? Can uh, you... Great ad hominem there. Okay, you could answer the question. So that's a yes. So that's a yes. No, you do. Because no. you, you asked me a question, and then when I try to answer it, you interrupt me. So I'm just curious if that's what it is. It's Down syndrome. <laughs> yeah, apparently it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? You okay. see me on camera. I certainly have the features to, to have Down syndrome. So yeah, I clearly have Down syndrome. He's on Please camera? continue on with what great point you were about to make. Joe suggested that uh, I don't, don't trust anybody with down. a fucking let me yeah, you know what yeah. wait a minute hold on a second nerdy Je Jeopardy. I, don't, I don't trust anybody okay, with yeah. a red yeah. bird on their fucking head okay let me put you first of all I'm sorry go I ahead. was just saying no Jeopardy you suggested doing just a Jeopardy style trivia which makes the most sense and mm -hmm. you're asking for topics and all this other shit it's just general trivia but you keep deflecting to want to know what it's about you are afraid of the chinless wonder and you can't admit it you you can't admit that you won't challenge him or beat him in trivia yeah we could have i know what y'all i know what they could do play chinese dominoes we but could have categories we could talk trivia about say minoan art we could talk trivia about uh I don't know, uh, postmodern art. Uh, we could talk trivia about, uh, I don't know, current building standards. <laughs> no, we, 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 we literally could. I think the, checkers. the point is you won't know. I mean, that's the point. Like, you know what I mean? No, 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 okay, but are we not going to try to limit that to say, okay, well, we're going to discuss this topic? Like, okay, wrestling. We could talk wrestling. But are okay, we talking, how about black like, history? Okay, I tell like, you okay, what. You for example, AJ Adams and me are on this debate. So um, we, we get asked about like the how to create the proper mixture for concrete to prevent 75% of absorption of water. Now, I could talk about that. I don't know about AJ. 
But AJ might be able either. to talk about shit that I don't know about. So right. where where do we define what we're discussing? Again, if it's going to be a debate or at least a discussion with, with trivia, isn't there going to be just like with, say, um, a Trivial Pursuit, where you have certain topics like pop culture or, you know, media, art, whatever. Are we going to have a little bit something more defined? Hey, what? Dave, I'll tell you this. In Iceland, they want to use the sand for concrete. How do you like that? Mm. Look, you, you said, I answered this question seven times to me earlier, and I'll say the same back to oh, you. JD? Uh, we suggested Jeopardy. We suggested exactly. Jeopardy like five times, and now you're asking, well, is it going to be like Trivial Pursuit? Is it going to be like the you fucking candy? You haven't candy? suggested Jeopardy. It's going to be like Jeopardy, shoots though. and ladders. You haven't suggested Jeopardy. Joe, no, you come up with the topic. Let Joe do it. I'll just yeah. do it. I will do it. I'll pick okay. the topics. There'll be um, the JCS community's show. past. We'll do wrestling. We'll do <laughs> politics okay. of the 2000s. Joe, Joe, let me remind you of something. Okay, let, let Dave, me I will you. kick your ass in trivia of any kind of bullshit. You want to, like, you know. Well, uh, you know what? You'd be a lot more fun to play against than fucking this sourpuss <laughs> fucking always nerdy. But uh, just, just a <laughs> reminder that. He's, uh, he's a struggling virgin. Give him break. Nobody else other than myself here on this call uh, and Joe, uh, we're living. Uh, doing well, yeah, you guys technically were living, but you weren't doing the golden age of monetize this. So, you know, there no. you can say whatever the fuck no. you want, but the fact you is that we were running shit like in the golden age of back in those days. Society. And again, I can talk about, so I was going to bring stuff up to again bring it back to the way it was tonight, but you know, nerdy continues on with his attempt to appeal to some sort of popularity and again you just really sound bitchy nerd. you know appeal to popular you're the one who just dropped monetize this from six years ago that you dipped out and came back and dipped out it doesn't matter dude talking about the past like it's relevant. but that's why i'm here though is because people want me back and people want that old equation back people want that fucking continuity that provided a good show Nerdy, you're just pushing it way too far. Okay, he's kind of going to, to popularity. He's going to Arizona man, Cardinals. I just oh. don't give up. Yeah, but I could easily bring up a topic right now that would probably entice most of you, except for Nerdy, just fuck and uh, it would be it. very in interesting for uh, us to discuss. Yeah, it's what you do. You just talk. Well, he doesn't have nothing to do with it. He says no. He's not doing do it. it. We could just keep on talking. Who cares? How about we just move? He will say fuck that. Well, yeah, was, Dave. Dave might, may, Dave might Dave might just keep on talking. You know what I mean? Like like that time. Remember when we got in a fight? Like uh, like this. Like a rational person. What's this? Is. You he left act because future. I told lies about him. Act Why like did you tweet out today that I lied yeah. about Jesse? Jesse? Jesse chose to Sorry. leave smart. Why yeah, did you tweet out today that I that I was telling lies right. about Jesse? Well, again, this I beautiful. You were around, you helping you out, trying to help you with the show, volunteer. You answer me or you're going to talk like a fucking <laughs> robot! Like a rational person. <laughs> 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 like Are you going an, to talk like a robot or answer my question? Why about, did you tweet out today that yes, I lied like a, about Jesse? Like I am. Jesse says I, I didn't. Why the hell? Dave, a normal... <laughs> Dave, did shut the fuck up! Dave, you're gonna yell like a child. Shut your fucking mouth! Dave, good discussion. Shut your fucking mouth! Wait, Dave, Dave, Dave. That's not my problem. This is the guy you're gonna have this guy on your show? He he called in, man. He called in. It's not. I don't have him as a host or anything. And he keeps talking. You would have hung up on me a while ago. Not costing me anything, dude. Because you keep talking and rambling, and I can keep speaking, so you can't talk to me and talk about <laughs> things I want to talk about. That's what you do. No, I don't. Him. Yes, you just did it. Want to rewind the fucking tape? Oh, All right, well, listen, listen, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Dude, that's, um, this is about, I'm like blowing a load. You got all these fucking haters of mine in the chat. Bro. Dave is being exposed more. Uh, douchebag, this was fucking, what, six years ago, five years ago? 2017. Years ago, like that. Exposed more. What are you fucking talking about, dude? No, that's bag? a it's a pub, this is a fucking fun a public time that we all fucking remember. So there's no exposure uh, unless you haven't been paying attention. Yeah, but, the, I you mean, know, you have same. a lot of Thank people you. Out there, That'd be including it, it, fucking, yeah, it, uh, again. You've got fucking uh, your little buddy there, D. Welsh, who um, 
certainly seems to think that uh, he's making a point, and he's not. And uh, yeah, he can donate all that he wants, but no. he's still not making a donate fucking. Donate all that. Why doesn't he wants. call in? What is it like? What doesn't he have? He could debate you things. tonight, maybe. Uh, you know, D. Welsh could debate. Well, D. Welsh has never had nothing to do with debate you. himself on how much he's a fucking idiot. Oh, that's so intelligent. Oh, that Negative points wrong. now spinning for Todd Fair, courtesy of D. Welsh. And it's one thousand. That's one thousand yep. times one thousand, which you just is. Fucking help them. Dickhead. One million, so negative one million, so take away three hundred thousand. So uh, D. Wells says, oh, uh, "Always nerdy." I'm not involved in any debate with that bitch, Bolester Dave. I'm not one who talks shit about Joe. So he keeps going on about you, uh, about me talking shit about uh, you, Joe. Now, uh, you know, you've been sort of paying attention, and you kind of know that. Yeah, I've talked to shit about you, right? You know about. I, I know that, that right? Dave is. Yeah, I'm not a yeah. moron. Yeah. And 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 you sort of said shit about me too. Again, remember my uh, ten times sail away. Uh, you know, you guys for a year. You uh, well, Ken and uh, and JB talking shit about me too. Uh, okay, well, cool. No. Yeah, that's fine. And guess what? We're here right now doing a goddamn great show, entertaining you, the people. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> I, I, Dude, I, I Dave, why like have, you, have you been drinking? Right now. <laughs> he sounds like he sounds like <laughs> Doctor Evil. You you just did a freaking face turn on me, bro. What That's happened? Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna suck your dick, dude. This oh my sexy. god! What the hell? Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's the, that's the queer in you. I knew it. Oh, behave! Um, I offer yeah. that uh, that opportunity to somebody else who wants to take it because I certainly won't. Dargas, you take that opportunity. No, no, you yeah. know what? Uh, you know what? He can suck his girlfriend's cock. That's fine. <laughs> Gargots took an opportunity one? once. It was to let a homeless man sleep in his house with him. That was about oh, it. Oh hell like, no! So, so he was like Tommy. Tommy, exactly. Was, oh, so oh, shit, uh, you really did that, Gargots? Oh shit! I you guarantee he has Gargots. How many homeless guys have slept over your place? You left somebody from Mexico in your <laughs> house. You know, yeah, for grass. Oh. Nobody rides for no, free. Uh, no, you got no, a dirty Mexican no. in your house. The only the baby. Yeah, that's him. No, he's a clean guy. No, he's, he's a clean. dirty Mexican. He's a clean way. I'm the clean Mexican. He's yep. a clean pinchy mahara. I mean, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> well, all I know is this. <laughs> what did Rostafa just say? Cheers, bro. Rostafa reminds me of a fucker. Without the hot chick. I love you all. Thanks for hanging out with me. Ichi Hotto. We love oh, yes, brother. Somebody's got to. Ichiban number uh, one. I, I got a question for you guys. Let's just shift it up to a different direction. But um, okay, so Rizzo, <laughs> this fat fuck. Um, what? I thought it was. I thought. I honestly thought it was a fucking fake. But this music award that she attended, oh. uh, where she was dressed up like a fucking garbage bag. She's a cow. What? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was I thought it was a hoax. I honestly did at the beginning. And then I started reading more. I was like, no, no way. No way that this is even possible. Oh my god. She's a and big yet, black fat bitch. Fuck it. Whatever. Yeah. Miss Yelly did that. Mark shit. that. Yo, Robo Black, we can't hear you. <laughs> Knitters. Watch it wetter. Twitters. Watch it wetter. Yeah, your, your your phone keeps going into Obama mode, so you know they'll start. Uh, this is a five hundred dollar phone. Obama, 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 Obama phone. That Obama phone you got there. I, I hope I hope Joe can put up the graphic because I again I don't understand this. Like, why did she dress this way? Like, it was it was insane. This she's yeah. a fat black bitch. Oh my god. Dude, that, that's taking it lightly, and it's an insult to the fats because yeah, this woman, Lizzo. you can call it that. Yes, Lizzo is like it's Jabal Hunt on fucking steroids. If you could, if, folks, if you could, not so, not Lizzo. You if you could Aaron imagine, Spears called her, right? Like, if you could, if you're listening just on the podcast, imagine the Stranger Things monster, not the Demogorgon, but the big one. And then Lizzo's fat ass so, face um, kind of behind it. She, that's what her dress looks like. The Stranger Things monster. It's disgusting. That, big I mean, one. She smells like cum and, and cigarettes. Yeah. I can't remember what the big one's called, but yeah, the, the second season, it's just like, yeah, the big, she's a big old bitch. It's the one that runs the fucking place. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. 
Dude, yeah, so apparently, uh, Reckless Jeff says Lizzo is Dave's sister confirmed. Oh, uh, no, is that true? I, uh, I am uh, truly one of the, um, you know, Anunnaki. So I am uh, a very white, pale skin. And um, you don't come yeah. from the stars. Maybe Anunnaki, so. good word. Uh, Mars apparently is where uh, white people supposedly come from, if you really look I thought it was Sagittarius A. Dude, that would make no, sense. Sagittarius area is the actual black hole in the center of the universe. Um, exactly. But yeah, uh, if you take a look oh, yeah, at uh, again, if you really want to go crazy, especially my black nationalist, love you. Uh, but the uh, fact is that uh, if you really take a look at the human cycle, uh, because the Earth beats at a certain cycle, as do uh, as do humans. And, um, well, black people match the cycle of the Earth more than white people. But where do white people match the, the cycle of a planet? Mars. So, mm -hmm. if anything, I'm going to have to uh, believe that uh, white people came from Mars. And the legends seem to indicate that as well. So, as hey, yo, Joe, did you get my now, message? And Mexicans came from Mercury. You think Who that... Came from yeah, I deleted it. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> How long would it take if you took a tribe of white people and moved no. them to Africa and you put them in Africa? How long would it take for them to go black? Or to be skinned alive by the black people there? No, I, I'm just saying, like, evolutionarily. Or steal somebody's land. Would it take a thousand years? Ten thousand years? How oh, long until no. they turn black? It would probably take. I mean, I, I bet it would take hundreds of thousands of years of, of evolution. But here's the thing I, I don't think that would happen because. I think it's too late because they've already the, the they've already become white from leaving Africa. So now I don't mm -hmm. know if they would become. I, I bet I, I, they I would turn tan maybe again, right? Maybe. No, the, the out of no, Africa they, they theory is already. Can't die. You think the out of Africa area? Wow, the out of yeah, Africa then, theory yeah, is you're false. Pulling, pulling a Dave Rose from the other week. Yeah, I almost said something terrible. Um, so you think, <laughs> wait, you think it's false? You think we were all created and born it's, the same color? False. I can provide you the documents, but the fact is, and I've know. always said this in the past, is all these different racial groups, black, white, uh, Asian, they all develop separately in their own places around the world. So the whites in the Caucasus Mountains, the Asians obviously, um, in, you know, certain Western portions of China and the blacks in fucking central. Uh, but where did Africa. they, but so where did they come from then? Black mountain. Okay. We're, if we really want to get into this, the fact is that the ancient peoples have always talked about this. The ancient gods made the people look like them. Again, we made them in our image. That doesn't apply to one group. It that doesn't to answer anything. That's some spiritual. No, it applies to everything, which means that you have uh, gods, i.e., aliens. Okay, uh, they come from the sky. Chinese you got God. so you believe exactly. in alien. You believe you in alien. You, you believe got, in aliens, not got, evolution. Okay. Let, let me break it down for you. You got advanced uh, pre-Diluvian civilizations that exist throughout the entire world. So you've got those in Africa. You've got those in Asia and those in the Caucasus. What they do after the deluge, when they all they find are primitive species, is the black race breeds black, uh, you know, uh, humans to uh, continue on their species. The white fucking gods do the same thing. The Asian gods do the same thing. And this is how you get, you know, the spread of races throughout the entire world. It's the ancient astronaut theory. So that's that what you believe. That's what you believe. It. It's actually in the Bible. But that's what you Why believe. Do you... you don't believe in, like, yeah. that we just were back, you know, evolution. grew up. Evolution. Yeah, you don't believe in the evolution. <laughs> no. it's, it's you not believe okay. exactly. well, you're talking no. about demons, See. poultry guys. Okay, no, 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 no. Joe, Joe raises a good point. Joe raises a good point. Joe raises yeah. a good point about the evolution aspect. Okay, so we still have monkeys. And um, and again, I'm not one of these um, people that believe that the Earth is only six thousand years old. Okay, so no way. But you, yeah. you, do you do take a look and you say, okay, well, we're being told that the the evolutionary period. Okay, so you've got great apes. They move. They they Rapes. evolve towards, um, um, you know, uh, bipedals. Bipedals. Thank you. And uh, eventually they evolve into humans. But you still have monkeys and you have humans, but you don't have any of the in-between races that uh, should have evolved by this People point. People have never been monkeys. That's a fucking lie. 
That just, See, that's a damn lie. We've got, but it, AJ Adams, are we best friends now? How is this possible that this supreme Nazi that I'm told that I am and this black supremacist that AJ Adams is are now best friends? How's this what possible? about Rostafa? I want to know what Rostafa thinks. I'm I'm shocked by what I'm hearing. To be honest, I'm just letting it go. I'm just want to hear more about. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a thing that there's a, there's a black guy, there's a Chinese guy, there's all, all kinds of wild shit. I mean, I'm shocked what I'm hearing right now. I gotta be honest. I am I am gonna say it doesn't make sense why Asians' eyes are slanted. Here we I've go. I've been told it's it's because of wind. Wind, right? Yep. It's that's what that's what we've been and cold. told. Well, it's cold. Yeah, wind, and they're all three feet when tall. The fire was, it's because when the fire was being burned, they were the last ones. In the it's black. so they don't see the dog burning, and oh, they put Jesus. it in. Oh, no, but everybody's three feet tall. Name me a place that isn't windy. Mm. Yeah, but I think Hell. it's got to do with I think Your it's mom's Mexico. <laughs> okay, but, okay. Mexico is not windy. It's the cold okay, and the I'm wind not, outside. I'm not denying. Like, I want to say one thing. I'm not denying that evolution can exist in humans. Okay, because yeah. we do see that evolutionary change amongst humans. So, for example, what Nerdy is bringing up about uh, the almond eyes, the 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 lack of the um, eyelid, as you can find it amongst Asians. Now, if we're taking mm. if we're taking consideration that if the uh, the world, uh, at least in their portion of the world, was heavily covered with ice, as you see with you know Native Americans, uh, Inuit in Canada, for example, or northern Siberia, where the reflection of light on ice is so extreme that it forces them to actually squint over. Mm amount of time this will force evolution to occur so that they adapt to their environment right. but what about japan that, that doesn't about, explain I japan about, well, i heard that about uh, it was a cuba or puerto, puerto rico wherever it's more elevated their lungs are more expanded than people in america yeah, yeah and tell me why aren't russian why don't russians look like asians then then Some they live in ice some of them do look like Asian because okay. there because is, there, there are okay. several there are several Russian ethnicities and some of them being the Slavic or the Mongolian do have almond style eyes and reckless Jeff no I'm not a moron also uh, <laughs> Joe um, I, I by the way I agree Welsh, with Dave I you Welsh, Welsh not saying some very nice things about my mother I'd um, yeah he's been taking question shot whether or not he should even have a fucking wrench. Because, uh, you know, I'm not fucking talking shit about him or his family, but I'm not sure why he's bringing up mine. You should be careful with so, uh, Dave when it comes to his family, d -Well. You should be careful. Well, he's the one that fucking doxed uh, Bullfrog right on air mm -hmm. on your show. Wait, wait, so, wait, you, wait, 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 wait. Well, he's Dude, also don't... donated 200 bucks and you haven't, so, you know. I have given fucking his... thousands of hours to you, Joe. No, I know, I'm just that that kidding. Is, you did talk shit about his kid Let's or be something nice. earlier. Let's be nice no, to Welsh. somebody else's kid, not him. Let's all be nice. I just said he was an neglectful father. It is true. I like Dave. That's that's why. How long people been people been around for at least sixty five million years? Dave, you've done nothing wrong by reporting this. You're doing everything right. Just GPS. These people were footprint human footprints with dinosaurs. Yeah, and that's that's another thing is that we have carvings that exist that weren't made more than twelve thousand years ago that show that man lived with fucking dinosaurs. Whoa, this ain't no fucking lie. Are you talking about the ones in India? The, the no, I'm talking about shit in India, in fucking uh, um, Scotland, uh, mm -hmm. in um, Mesoamerica, which is basically Latin America. Uh, you have all these places that show inscriptions where there was uh, saber-toothed tigers, there was fucking uh, triceratops, there was fucking uh, all the raptors, all these fucking dinosaurs that supposedly were living amongst men. Yeah. We can't ignore this shit when people are able to fucking carve this stuff in stone that was a thousand years ago. Should yeah, they got it in the top streets in L.A. You can see it in the footprints there with the dinosaurs. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. Footprints of the dinosaurs? It's dinosaur prints, it's dinosaur prints and there's people... When, right next to him. when it comes to the the Occam's razor thing, I I just I tend to go with the evolution number one. But what Dave's saying about ancient astronaut theory and some of those type of things, that's not off the table to me. I just don't 
I just don't agree that that's number one. That'd be my like sort of number two explanation or like I'm open to that idea or just the gene pool was seated in originally somehow anyway. So I'm open, open to that. I'm not saying that that did not happen. I'm just more of like I go with the evolution thing over everything because it seems like the answer. But that stuff that Dave is saying is kind of my number two, kind of my number two, because other than it, it's explainable better than most other things. So I go with that number two, and um, but yeah, I th- so I'm just opposite. I think Dave is the other way. I think he thinks, like he was saying, we're you know, just, people were seated and just, evolution happens anyway. You know, just look in the sky. I mean, that shit didn't just come out of nowhere like they think they did. It feels like it did because we've probably been here for hundreds of thousands of years, and they think like, like oh, universe we, just came out of nowhere. I don't believe that. No, they Bro, but they no, think even we, mainstream science is telling us. Our history keeps getting older no. and older and older. And again, if we faced all these cataclysms, a lot of this stuff is going to be destroyed. How can we expect that, you know, temples and stuff that were made 2000, you know, like 20,000 years ago or older would survive the, one of the many cataclysms, again, that is just repeated throughout the world? Oh, Noah's, you know, uh, flood. Like every other culture around the world has that. Maybe so, that's what the pyramid is for. Like stuff like that, like to expect those cataclysms and to protect humans from a meteor or try to protect them. Would it be crazy meteor? if it was like fifth element and like something cra- like a, 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 an asteroid was coming at us and then suddenly right. the government came out and they, they like knew and all that, all the pyramids lit pyramids. up and shot a beam at the fucking asteroid. You know, there's a pyramid in Antarctica. That's what I'm saying. There's like several, they're all over there the are planet. Several yeah. in Antarctica. And there's where and by the way, where Boston. they're positioned are like pivotal magnetic areas and stuff like that. It's crazy. More importantly, we're the- being told, we're trying to be convinced that the primitive people had no knowledge of astrotheology. Meanwhile, these things are so well aligned to the cardinal points that unless you had a computer, you would not be able to accomplish this even today. So how the fuck are these primitive people able to actually be able to calculate this and align this perfectly to the fucking stars and to the North and South Pole? Lost technology. Yeah, it's fucking That's trippy. why, see, that's what I believe. Like, I'm 100% with you on that. If you, Dude, and we've talked about this before on me and Dave when we've done Final Frontier. And one of the ideas and the theories that I always bring up that I always think about, and I don't 100% remember exactly right now, but the vague idea, in my opinion... Is I I think that we repeat ourselves every something years, whether that's ten thousand, twenty thousand, whatever years, six thousand. Earth might be way older than we think. We go again. Our our solar system goes through the same uh, field of electromagnetic, uh, you know, dispersion as well as um, sort of uh, you know, what are they called? Fucking asteroid fields, and this is where you get the repeated. You know cycles. You know the, the, again. We if you just take a look at the numbers, you see that these cataclysms always happen over and over again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, like the, it's like the TNG episode. episode. I and we're not talking about just eons. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's just TNG repeating itself. Yeah, and we're not talking about like you know, well, like okay, well, a tornado happens over and over again. I mean, that's not what we're talking right. about. We're talking about the same type of flood happens. We're talking about like. You know, Planet X going by every the same oh, elliptical hey, orbit. It happens every twenty nine thousand five hundred years, approximately. For Planet X. Look, wow. it, it, first of all, for, for able to, ca- to be able to calculate that, you need a civilization that's older than 20, 29,500 years. You have to be mm-hmm. able to at least observe the phenomenon one time to be able to calculate what you're going to see in all that time. Now, even if it was, was one like, time, 29,500 years, that takes, especially with all the fucking cataclysms, that takes a special intelligence to be able to transfer that intelligence to all these people that come into the future to understand that, okay, we lost all writing, but we have these uh, um, pyramids or whatever that tell us what we can expect in the future. It's, so all, it built, it's all encoded into they, these structures. How would now we're humans, gonna see if it gets worse if how would uh, he, with all this pollution and fucking you know no no, no. let me ask you shit. this like what's going on with that like it might we, fucking get worse and worse or it can get better and better we have UFOs right now 
with with um uh, the government expects that right how would you survive if you were uh if you were primitive humans that had far greater technology would you try to destroy the meteor would you try to go into would you try to go underground could we have underground civilizations that we don't know because they're covered by the sea they do in china no they they (laughs) do all over the world yeah yeah do you think that they could be more advanced advanced, though the aztec talked well not the aztecs but uh Basically, Mesoamericans talked about this. During the last cataclysm, the ant people, this is what they call them, they look like ants. So if you take a look at uh, you know, UFO uh, history, they you've got alien Americans who kind of look like fucking ants. Big eyes. You know, they only work on the ground. <laughs> they brought these people into these underground caverns to avoid the cataclysm. Mm-hmm. This is in the, the, the um, Hopi. People talk about the in Arizona. Ant- yes, mm-hmm. they were brought into the ground during the last cataclysm, and they were protected I by see. this race. Mm-hmm. Are we going to just exclude these people because supposedly Western culture considers them primitive? Or are we going to start to believe that all these primitive cultures that were able to survive? Because if think about this properly, us in this society right now, we rely on smartphones, on technology and stuff. Fucking, you know, technology goes bad. How are we going to survive unless you're really skilled? Meanwhile, these people who have lived in the jungle for the longest time, never fucking, uh, you know, uh, interacted with Western culture. They survive on bugs. They survive on living off the land. The world could go to shit. They wouldn't even care or even know about it because the life would continue for them. Who's the best person? And uh, 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 Hancock uh, talks about this. Um Basically, is that the best people who are, are are capable of surviving a cataclysm are those that are living deep in Africa's, uh, you know, uh, uh, jungles Congo. or fucking, you know, the 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 rainforest of uh, the the Amazon or fucking New Guinea or you know all these places like uh, the the outback in fucking Australia. Those are the people who are best fit to survive an actual cataclysm, not us. I think it's true. What about? Do you worry? One thing. So it sounds like you're saying like what it's like inner earth and stuff. What uh, Richard E. Bird was saying, the Admiral, where he said that he flew past Antarctica and he found a land that he goes in. It's a hole. 1947. Oh, yes. Antarctica. Oh, yes. yes. I heard about this. The Nazi project that w- w- underwent. And they in said Antarctica? they found inner earth and it's like a whole other. Just high jump, Operation hollow. High Jump. Operation High Jump. Yeah, that's what it was. They, they, okay. So basically, at the end of the World War II, people knew Adolf Hitler escaped. The Nazis were still around, and they'd established bases because they started in 1935 in uh, Antarctica. They tried to attack the uh, establishment there in 1947. They got their asses kicked, and they had to fucking leave. But uh, J- James Forrestal was the. Um, you know, the admiral that was running things, but he had fucking Admiral Byrd that was uh, working mm-hmm. there as well. Uh, Forrestal was, uh, after this whole situation, um, he he was interviewed and said, basically, uh, no, it was Byrd that was interviewed that said, basically, okay, at this point now, we, got, we need to make Antarctica a nuclear testing ground. Um, basically, just to lob nukes on it. Weren't they going okay, there for oil reserves? Why. What's that? Weren't they going there for oil reserves, knowing the war was coming? No, and the, this is after World War II. Oh. Um, but basically, um, he also said at this point, now the enemy, that's all he said, the enemy has the ability to have a craft travel from one pole to the other within mm-hmm. hours. So he was referring to the Nazi UFOs that existed. So... Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, when they got back to America, Forrestal was put into uh, Bethesda um, Mental Hospital, and he supposedly jumped out of the highest, you know, uh, level like out the there and committed suicide. Yeah. He was pushed out because two men went to his uh, room and uh, they had a talk with him because he was going to talk about the fact that the Nazis were still fucking operating, and this was going to interfere with what Operation Paperclip the operation that was meant to bring in Nazi scientists and their technology into America after World War II. 
Argentina, Uruguay, Chile, Antarctica, they were all just fucking places for them to stop by. Although Antarctica obviously has bases. They eventually, a lot of them, went back to America because they were being said, being told, we need you people for the fight against the Russians. We need you as rocket scientists or, you know, uh, developmental scientists and so forth. This is all on record. Yeah, Dave, yeah. I think we've we've he figured fucking, that oh, out. Well, so he fucking like, Oh, D. Wells, no, where'd you go get no. a chin? So he, like, he, he, flew, no. he flew past uh, Antarctica and he said that he saw... You know like, Hitler Greenland. died in Brazil, y'all know that, so, right? He said that he, he didn't see any any snow. It was you know Greenland that, right? and then it, it goes in and craft were coming. Yeah, there was, there was exactly areas. There. They had yeah. spring. Somebody clipped our got saying... totally open land with no snow. Somebody clipped hey, Gargot saying... You know Hitler a, died in Brazil, you know that, right? Let me give me a shot some shrooms. I said Hitler died in Brazil, you know that, right? Uh, that's debatable. Uh, it's uh, like here's yeah, another he thing. He didn't die in, in Germany. Well, he certainly went to Argentina first. Yeah, and it's, from open, Argentina? it's an open secret amongst Argentinians that the Nazis were fucking inf infiltrated Argentina. I had people laugh at me when I told them about that, but again, being Argentinian, having mm -hmm. grown up in the culture, it's a it's an open secret. Being a Everyone Nazi. Knows Everyone knows. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Let's keep that a secret. Now we know where yeah, it was. Argentina. Keep your mouth channel. silent. They were showing on the history channel it, about it. It's a known secret that basically that happened. And it is debatable as to whether or not he died in Argentina or Brazil or Uruguay. But yes, he died in South America. And the FBI was fully aware, even to the 60s, that he yep. was there. Yep. Shit, what was that documentary that Tim uh, Kennedy made? It was uh, on the History Channel. I got the History Hunting Channel. Hitler it was on or something there. like that? Yeah. Chasing Hitler or something like that. No, yeah, uh, he, had a base in the, he had a base in the jungle and all that crap. Basie in Auschwitz. Shit. That was what it's called. Oh, my God. I don't know how come up with new material, D. Welsh. Well, um... Again, how about this? I'm here discussing a topic that everyone here is enjoying, and you're just being a sourpuss in the chat. How about that? Why don't you donate a hundred bucks? Or how about this? How about donate a thousand tonight and get me banned? A thousand oh. bucks, get me banned. Ooh. There we go, Ooh. Joe. And I'll take uh, twenty percent. There we go. Okay. Two thousand. I like like. Don't tell him that, or he'll, <laughs> he'll do it. He'll do it. He's got it. So okay. So apparently, I'm so full of shit. My eyes are brown. Well, I guess uh, we got a racist there in the chat with primitive life ways. But how is it that AJ Adams, is, you know, the black man here, can talk to, about this, you know, with me and totally understand what I'm talking about? I'm I'm racist. Is he is is he my fucking uh, my uncle Tom? He's my slave, or is he oh just fucking clip that? Himself? Somebody clip that now too. Yeah, <laughs> <clip> that. <laughs> I have seen I, people I, that have I, looked I, like I, ape. I You're wrote racist. this I'm novel. Just I'm, I'm getting shit on. I'm getting shit on for, about talking about this shit. And meanwhile, fucking, we got fucking AJ who's like, yeah, he was in fucking Brazil when he died, knowing the shit that fucking you know people in the know know. And like, no, I'm the fucking no, race, no. I'm the fucking conspiracy theorist. But AJ Adams, you're cool because you're black, right? You, that's your past. <laughs> Man, I, no, I was no, gonna say it, but no, you said, no, no, I'm a nationalist. Well, he's got two pass cards now. He's people. got the black and white pass card. I hate, yeah. I hate Filipinos. They all live in the damn mud oh, huts. They all Here we work go. in the damn coconut fields. I mean, anyway. AJ Adams has coconuts? white and black. Are there coconuts? Yeah. yeah, there must yeah, be coconuts. Coconuts and they there. pay with instead of money, they pay with bananas. How y'all like that? Oh, Jesus Christ! No, plantains, plantains, not bananas. They, don't, they, they can't afford bananas. They're too I mark all the, mark, mark all everything I said. Yeah, I guarantee I'm gonna mark this down. <laughs> You're gonna say anyway after your next joke. <laughs> <laughs> and I anyway. and some guy with a brown back. <laughs> <cut my laughs> <breath today. laughs> so, hey, Gargas. So Dave Hitler Rose bring up primitive life ways. Heil. Now, um, you know, sort of moving on somewhat, but keeping it uh, somewhat related. Uh, speaking of space and Nazis, space Nazis, um, NASA, 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 uh, NASA. Yes, NASA. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, NASA. NASA. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're going to be t today, basically at uh, in 
probably seven hours or something. They're supposedly launching their Artemis rocket again. Whoa. Well, they didn't well, launch they, it last they, time. They wanted to do it the other day, three days ago, and uh, they had an engine bleed, right. and uh, they weren't able to launch it. Uh, already, guys, um, you, you know, Americans, you've paid billions of dollars into this thing that's already been going on for 10 years. Ukraine? So, uh, yeah. Well, it's taxpayer money. But, no, Joe. Um, well, I'd rather pay for that than you. We, we have no more. We have no um, ammu ammunition anymore. So now we have to fund our military again because we gave it all to Ukraine. Oh. So now, yeah. the, so now Biden is asking grenades. We, now Biden, we, we, well, we left it all in. He gave him all the Ukraine. He left it all in Afghanistan. He fucking had it yeah. all. It's in Afghanistan. Yeah, the Neo over there too. Right? 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 The Taliban to fucking help you. I, I mean, like, so, yeah, dude, we left this. Like our country's retarded, bro, and like I brought this Joe up. Joe Biden's retarded. Our well, country wasn't this retarded four I, years. I brought this up to my wife. Retarded. I brought this up to my wife and several other people before, and they just like act like this doesn't matter. Like, and it's like, what? like you know how much money is? Because Orange Man bad, and at least he's out of power. Yeah, there's Nazis you over there. Nobody, Joe, nobody Joe, cares. <laughs> Joe, you know what you need to do is you need to buy a Trump mask, and you need to. Um, Forcibly make love to your uh, woman mm. with that mask on. Jesus, well, she'll stab him in the eye as he tries it. He doesn't want to kill her, or rape her. Yeah. No, she'll stab him in the eyes wearing that I mask. I don't know about that last part there. I mean, <laughs> okay. So there's a circle that says 55 billion Ukraine. Um, that's what, just what, what's the number? What's the Afghanistan number? Is it a trillion? Isn't it trillions? Yeah, like two trillion, I think. Is it? Do a little basketball dance off the concrete. So, like, come on. I mean, I'm just so sick oh, of you. Oh, Jack the Panzer. Devil worshippers. I'll be honest. I'd like to take a big bite out of your face. It's been a while since a dono come up. Not all knowledge is shared or made public. We think we know everything because of the internet. But it's that's the true. stuff that's not shared outside small groups that intrigue me. Elites, government, etc. Secret engineering patents specifically. Yeah, that's an interesting point. We don't talk <laughs> about that. But uh, then there's uh, some of us who actually read books. Right. There's published yeah. material and then there's unedited material. And if you no, can and then there's books that are fucking hard copy and you can read them anytime you need. So. You took that as an argument. I was just adding to the information. I wasn't arguing with you. I was saying that there's like editorialized information that's like published like online and stuff on uh, like big news channels and stuff. That stuff's editorialized. Even on Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg said on Joe Rogan that they pushed certain articles that they didn't want because the FBI told how them to. awesome was that that he went on Other. there and then shit on the FBI basically and didn't I don't even think he <laughs> I don't think he knew what he was saying like it was like yeah. wow do you know I what mean, he just why, said that's why. They carried the Hunter Biden story and that was right before the election so many people said if they knew that they would yeah. have voted uh, differently that's called subversion it doesn't that's even matter just, it doesn't even matter out. they know that it that's doesn't but it doesn't matter even if like nobody would have changed their vote because of that. That's not the point. The point is you you can't do that. Like, like it's election supposed... interference, right? Right. You're not it's like literally what nobody what should be Trump doing that. that. It's called subversion. It no, it's literally is not what Trump tried to manipulate the system. I want uh, I called you Wandy. Uh, uh, nerdy. Uh, it wasn't literally what Trump said. Trump literally said the ballots were rigged and everything. That's well, the, yeah. That's not. If the you same look thing. at the, he said that the vote count was suspicious. That Joe Biden got 183,000 votes all at once at three in the morning after yes. a two-hour break. That's, that's the, what he said, which is true. That, it's suspicious. That stuff was suspicious, but it's not. Yeah, it's not the same thing though. This is just no. Yeah, right. Right. This is just. Hey, D. Welsh, you uh, you dox bullfrog on there. Okay, so <laughs> stop trying to claim. What, what that, a you know, random thing to say. Who's so oh, featuring Dave and he docks people too? Yeah, you, you started the trend there, bud. Okay, so stop with your fucking chinless wonder. Okay. Yeah, but everybody's everybody that's done that has done it to every, you know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. But just I don't do it. Nobody... it. But I responded with it. But you know what? D. Welsh did it out of the fucking blue. He couldn't stand it. I mean, even, even uh, fucking Bullfrog has a better chin than him. So, you know, of course he's going to feel jealous, but... Yeah, I'll hey, talk to my damn self and you can add to it. You want it? <laughs> let's, let's change the subject. Jelly belly. Yeah. Uh, 
Would it be easier to give a blowjob without a chin? Oh, what Jesus the... Christ. Can I can I give a rule? God damn it. That is an interesting... I don't know. That's, now to think of it. Oh, um, who do it? Okay, so... I, I do like a mathematical challenge. And, uh, if you got yeah, no balls and you do a 69, yes. You okay. know what? I have to agree with um, with Nerdy. That Joe, fact, have you I, ever... I do believe yeah. that uh, D. Welsh would probably give a killer blowjob because oh, he has no God. chin. Have oh, you no, ever, Joe, have you ever been with a chick that didn't have a chin? Oh. <laughs> um, no, no, I don't. I No, I can't think of it. No. <laughs> Joe's thinking like, oh, I mean, yeah. honestly, Leah, Leah, Leah kind of says she doesn't like her family doesn't have a lot of them. They're, I'm serious. Like, they're, I mean, women? A lot of what? Chins or blowjobs? No oh, women. <laughs> Ooh. Chin jobs, <laughs> but uh, chin she's job. got a she's got one. Mm. She's that's not... that's D Walsh's specialty. I'll give you a chin job. He rubs That'd be his like chin. a hand job with no fingers. <laughs> he rubs his neck. Me chin you a long pit. time. Oh, <laughs> what's on a prosthetic one? There you go. That'd be like a pom- That'd be yeah, like exactly. A yeah, to balance himself out when he walks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Imagine the disbalance he has without a fucking artificial chin. He's like wobbling over everywhere. He's walking a sidewalk. He's a, an attached a chin to his face. Artificial chin. Oh my god! <laughs> I actually like the ones, but no, yeah, was, it made out of hundreds. Was, I just had to say that one. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> Jesus Christ! It was so bad. I got well, a defending hey, guy. Did you? He was just so damn rich. He no. has a rocket stick made up hundred dollar bills. Oh no, mm. Joe, Joe! Did you hear about Beverly Hills Cop Four? And what? I certainly have. Um, yes, a gay old time. I've had that plan for thirty years. I love pickles and I love fish sticks. Yeah, I'm ready to go. No, I'm the one who said they should do a crossover of like Beverly Hills Cop and what was the other thing? I forget now. Perfect yeah. strangers. Um, oh, Beverly yeah. Eight hours. Hour. That'd be great. The Beverly Hillbillies. Julie, are you my Here's new? My, you my, blah, 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 my new daddy. There's... Scissor me, ass, ba- ass man. <laughs> <laughs> the Jeez. color purple. Here's some useless trivia. <laughs> <laughs> they certainly the laugh color at your misfortunes. <laughs> they certainly your laugh at number? your misfortunes, fuckers. Shut up. Uh, Sylvester Stallone was originally he turned down Beverly Hills Cop because uh, he he wanted it to be more of a you know cop shoot him up thing, so they gave Eddie Murphy the part, turned it into a comedy, and Stallone's version turned out to be what was Cobra. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Cobra. That's Cobra's true. way more dark and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's not a very good movie either. Mm, yeah, I blame that on the Cobra. director. Cobra. You are what the fuck evil. You are vile. You are disgusting. You are a liar. And we're gonna show that very soon. There's so many screenshots that I've great. acquired. Why are you talking about, why are you talking about Filipinos like that? Burn for the evil shit that you are. <laughs> He's right. Oh, and those Filipinos will <laughs> hate you too. Guys, again, remember. Anybody that laughs to this extent clearly has mental issues. And SE Steve, being a mestizo, oh, probably oh does suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't that guy kill himself or something? Jesus. Oh my That's a God. name I haven't heard in years. I thought he shot himself, didn't he? No. Just He's the a cl- fucking cheater. The he clip- cheated on a game show I did with him. Oh, the clips I have of Dave are amazing i was gonna say you're going through your devious incriminating blackmail <laughs> oh i've got tons you know of i've got down for i've got i've got, I've got dave i've got dave you in court dave i've even got dave listen i'm not uh, i've got dave rose talking about taking down my channel in my my career my life jesus christ i've got i've i swear to god i've got to take your channel you should see what i have of dave it's unbelievable yeah but i never said it. i'd never i've never fucking promoted striking anybody so no it's actually worse than that I think he said he chopped but your limbs But Dave off. didn't say it. It's not, He didn't say it. But no, I do have that. Well, imagine having all the stuff I used to say, Joe. You probably get kicked off the air. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I've got. Listen, I've got. Listen, man. The self-destruction of Dave Rose is coming. All right. 
I already printed a cover of that for the DVD. So, hey, now I got you. you got the evil shit that comes out of your like mouth. A, it's, like a, it's like the fucking Ultimate Warrior fucking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, I love people, though. Iron and hell. It was done on fucking MS Paint. I don't know if I, I don't know. I do have it. I don't know. I really have it. <laughs> it's just uncool. What Why? percentage of the damn community is going to hell? Everyone. Everybody here is, everybody yeah. listening to this show right now is going, is probably going to hell. Let me tell you that. <laughs> that's, that's, well, then I guess we'll have a gay old time. We'll have a gay old time. And you and I, why I, have, I say the things um, I say. A gay so I old time. Guessing We're having gay Ask Ben Law if he really did it. Well, guessing thank you, Yankee Doodle's little balls. Well, thank you. Know, you do, that's what they say about me. There's a special place schools. in hell for you, buddy. Okay. No, they said a special place for you. They uh, put you in the back of the hell. <laughs> the back of the hell. Like, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, so and so and nerdy, what do you? People feel like they're a part of it. That was a bitch. They bend you over. He bends you over. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm gay. All right, get your joke yeah, out. Fuck the you. What a, what a pineapple. Oh, fucking, okay. um, a pineapple a pitch, there. and a pitchfork. What is that Adam Sandler movie with the pineapple in Hitler's ass? Little Nicky. Little Nicky. Classic. Nope. Dude, Joe, you kind of look like Little Nicky. Little like... Nicky. <laughs> yeah. Chicago Cash Ash. Mm-hmm. Ash. Chicago is a safe zone. How we do that? Sixty-four black people. Sixty-four black people were killed last night in the city of Chicago alone. (laughs) Good luck on the nipple burning. Chicago is a sanctuary city. <laughs> oh my God! Chicago had forty-two stabbings last night. There was oh. a stabbing at Popeye's Chicken last night. Mr. Beefy, <laughs> he was actually safe in Chicago. <laughs> I fucked Mr. Beefy in the Congo. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Beefy. I actually eat Mexican kids. Ozzy <laughs> hates America now. Oh, he did leave oh, the country. I, 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 I want to know where he is. is. The chink. Shannon, we're leaving. All the tigers. <laughs> we're leaving America. Um, just uh, another slight uh, comment here is the that. Uh, bastards. Okay, great. Um, yeah, today basically Joe Biden. Uh, appointed uh, John Podesta to serve as the senior advisor oh, he's a criminal. for the president for uh, Glean, <laughs> Glean oh Energy God. Innovation. Oh, my God. So oh John the pineapple in his asshole. If anybody's old enough to remember... John Podesta the, fucked me in a closet. The labyrinth? <laughs> I was raped in the labyrinth. <laughs> I'm going to go to a George R.R. R. Martin signing and kill him. The oh, dragon raped me. The dragon. Because he won't write the last book. Super write the bastard. last fucking book, George, you fucking fuckhead. Little Nicky, little Nicky, is this what you've been doing in hell this whole time? Reading Did you just call Game me little Nicky? You little wetter. Dave Rose oh, is a pedo. You little oh. wetter. You know what I just realized that sound sounds like? It's Adam Sandler doing like a a, a gurgled up version of um what's his face? Uh who's dead, who just died a little while ago. Joe, oh, do those God. brown people cut it's your grass? Me. It's I just died. Uh, Leah's, oh, Gilbert Godfrey. Gilbert it's, he's Godfrey. doing Gilbert Godfrey if he was a crotchety old man. I just realized that. Motherfucker. No, I don't think it's Gilbert, Gilbert Godfrey. Godfrey. It's, awesome. it's definitely not him. I sound like him. And like something else like too. I can't think of the other thing, but it's something else also mixed in. It's weird. 
I had those brown people cut my grass and kiss my ass. John Podesta raped me. What was, yeah, what was that director that fucking got extradited and he doesn't want to come back to the U.S.? What? Uh, Pablo Lans- Francisco. Polanski. But, yeah. Rome, not so, not so touched my anus. <laughs> Roman Polanski touched my anus. With his pedo pecker. <laughs> I love Papa's chicken. Good. Know. Did anything crazy you happen to you this week? Mexican motherfucker. Yeah, somebody, somebody, uh, I saw someone bash their head, and then I, uh, that my dog that's is true. dying. That's what, that's crazy. What's happened to me? Oh my god! Is, Dude, your dog dying? Yes. Now you can um, really play that clip from Orny. Yeah, we can Same play the dog. Hey, what's what's that guy from the goodies, the sloth? And I yeah. can really dox them. Dave, would you like me to tape my kids crying over the dog and send you the footage? No, I'd, I'd like to dox the people that are talking shit about your dog. Really? Sloth was the number one pick in the NFL draft one year. Never do really? them. What so like, what Slaunch, do is, Slaunch is the really? name of a bar in Southie. Is it okay hey, to call is your uh, hey, Joe, dog, speaking dog about bars dog and stuff, the greatest video. pick that God ever made? Well then what? what the fuck, fuck is going on? Too many here people tonight? talking all at once. It's crazy. Yeah. Fuck it. Oh, it's it's I feel like again. Discord just fucked up. Yeah, Discord sucks. Yeah, blame it on Discord. It's not your retarded, but blame it on alcohol. <laughs> blame it on the ring. I mean, oh, you know, uh, fucking... blame it on Lorraine, that fucking bitch. Fuck Tell us how Metallica opened up again for you, uh, Gargots. <laughs> hey, Joe, do, do you know about this uh, place called Hilltop? Steakhouse? It's a bar. I know about the Hilltop Steakhouse, but... Will they go to hang Mexicans? Okay, all right. Is it on the top of a hill? Why am I telling you about this place? Uh, I got invited oh. there if I ever go up there, and I was just like, hmm. The, okay, wait, the Boston good. guys then, invited then, you to the Hilltop Steakhouse. That's hilarious. Dude, let me tell you something. Yeah. The Hilltop Steakhouse out here. And I was just like, dude, if I'm ever out there, okay. <laughs> dude, that the, sounds fun. Let me, the sign outside of the Hilltop Steakhouse is a giant sign that says Hilltop Steakhouse. Looks very Texas yeah. like you would expect. But the yeah. fuck, but next to that is a giant fucking cow. <laughs> it's just a big cow. Oh, my God. No wonder they fucking want me to go. The, it looks hilarious. I want you to do the dishes. Because so like, they're going to oh, hang dude, you on no, the Hilltop. So like, I had a, I had, uh, there's a convention going down, and I met, I started hanging out with these fucking people from Boston, and we just got fucked from up, Boston, and they're like, oh, dude, you should go up there, yeah, dude, go up there, in November, November, it's gonna be badass, dude, we can go to the hilltop, and I was like, what the fuck is the hilltop? So I was like, you know what that is? It's That's fucking the hilarious. It's, it's a steakhouse. It's a big. It's a. Yeah. It's, it's it's really not that crazy. I mean, the hilltop steakhouse is. It sounds like a fucking Applebee's or something. Yeah, oh. it's like I mean, yeah. what? It's yeah, it's a chain. I mean, it's sort of a New England chain, I think. You know what Hilltop sounds like? A hanging then station. They, then they then they started talking about some strip clubs, and I was just like, whatever. This is what it looks it like. Sounds, sounds like where they used to hang the black people. I'm pretty sure like, that yeah. aren't there more Hilltops though around? Or isn't that isn't that just and they're gonna they're gonna hang guard guts by his nuts? It's not just a Boston Ooh. thing though, isn't Hilltop like? Throughout the I've Northeast, never, we, I don't have. We don't I've never have heard of it. Down here. Oh no, no, we have our own steakhouses got, down here. Like a we got water burgers and and Dairy Queen, all kinds of we bullshit. Got, we got Longhorn and fucking what is it? Called? Yeah, it's like Texas Longhorn. Roadhouse. It's ex- it's like uh, Longhorn. Basically, what you just it's uh, Longhorn. I like how AJ Adams says, "Oh yeah, we have Dairy Queen down here." Like what? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fuck. Yeah, you got a lot <laughs> of queens yeah. down there. Now. And water burger and where the fuck it, Louis yeah. tacos and whatever the fuck is. <laughs> Jesus. Dairy Queen bought the rights out to fucking A one thick and Hardee's, so now they have that burger there. I can't. So, uh, question: yeah. Have you yeah. guys watched um, She Hulk? And have you heard? No. The- yeah. I watched yeah, the one with I, China. I watched it. I liked it. You have to kill me to make me watch that. I'm not watching no, that shit at all. But now apparently she's twerking. So. The what? first episode sucked. The second one's been it was all right. First of all, I don't <laughs> care if she's twerking or not because it could be good and she could twerk. It could be shitty and she could twerk. I okay. Look, if you like Ally McBeal, Boston Legal stuff like that. No. Oh, then no. it's not for you. I like that stuff back then. Yeah, it was the nineties. 
Fuck it. There was nothing else on. It was like, it, it reminds me of that. And uh, what was that one with Jay Moore where he owned that porn business? It reminds oh. me of that too. Yeah, hey, was what was. Oh, I know what I wanted to. You just reminded me of something, Gargatz. You know what I was trying to find the other day? Because I wanted to watch it just for like nostalgia. Because it's one of those shows that used to be on and I would kind of put me to bed, but I would be comfortable watching it. Was Arliss. Like, I just, I don't know why Arliss, like in the Arliss? background. Yeah. Was like, what the hell is that? Arliss. He was a sports agent. Oh, it's the nice. guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was like a, he's the guy in. Remember in the first Batman movie, the reporter guy. Yeah, he's that. Is that it's, guy? Oh, what's his name? The pitching coach in Bull Durham. Yes, yes. That that that, that was crazy. He was in that movie. Yeah, I don't know why, but he's um, he puts me right to sleep like an Arliss. I don't know. It's it's not the best show, but it's just like Rockliners are great. It's it's like. I feel the same vibe when I watch. I know that I, I know that Star Trek: The Next Generation is my favorite Star Trek and everything. And in some ways, it seems less dated. When I watch Star Trek: The Next Generation, as long as it's not the first two seasons, it doesn't seem dated that much to me. It feels nice. But when I watch like Deep Space You're Nine, not a real fan. Because some of those fucking episodes in first season were great. Second, not no, that I much. No, I like no, no, no. I like the first two seasons still. I know a lot of people shit on them, but I'm saying they Blansky, do. Though. Yes, but they do have an oh, 80s her. vibe, though. They have a very 80s vibe. But my point is that Deep Space Nine, I watch Deep Space Nine, and that seems more dated sometimes to me. Bec I don't know why, but I, I I've, been, I've been watching Deep Space Nine recently, and the reason is because it gives me that mid-90s feel, too. It's like, dude, I can feel uh -huh. like I'm exactly... When I watch Deep Space Nine, I, I feel like I'm back at my friend's father's house sleeping over like we used to sleep over for weeks, you know, and hang out. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel and, like I'm there again and, and touch each other. And, yeah, and so Joe, I, you did, know, I did, back when I I I did climb on him Joe, a couple of times. Joe, I, I watched fucking I, I, I rewatched the entire fucking, um, you know, series of Deep Space Nine probably about six months ago. Really? I went on a bitch and stuff. Holy cow. You know, I've and, never seen the whole thing through. Like, I've never seen the whole thing through. Well, yeah, I, I forced myself through that. Okay. Um, that. I forgot how much of a fucking piece of shit uh, uh, Zia was. Uh, <laughs> how much of a fucking philanderer and fucking just dirty scumbag fucking Bashir was. Like, you know, looking back at it, like, some of these characters, like, like even Kira, she was a fucking cunt. Yeah, they're kind of a cunty type of person. Like, yeah, like like I I just remember when I first watched, it's like, oh okay, this is different. I don't like it, but okay, yeah. these seem these people seem like heroes. You go back to it, Bashir was this fucking philanderer who would fuck whatever had a hole. Okay, <laughs> and, 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 and thought he was big, you know, like oh I'll be a spy with Garrick and stuff. You had J J uh, Jazira, uh, Jazia, who, yeah. you know, again, like, oh, you know, she had sexual fucking, you know, power. So whether it be with Cork or fucking, um, uh, what's his name, uh, Bashir or anybody Stop. else, she was fucking plain or shit. But again, it's a fucking a trill, so it's any gender you want. And you had fucking. Um, it's it's dude. It's literally the rele the reason why Deep Space Nine is like this. It's because it's like all the writers who wanted to write this way but couldn't on The Next Generation because of Gene's rules and Rick Berman and them stood by them so hard. So finally, you know what I mean? Like they had to create the space station and this whole narrative. That way they could... Wait, 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 wait. DC Fontana, one of the greatest writers of Star Trek of all time, was able to write a few episodes. I believe she worked on um, Encounter at Farpoint. Yeah, but what I'm That's a fucking amazing but, episode. No, no, no. But what I'm talking about is that like, um, the Star Trek: The Next Generation people like they they weren't allowed to write a lot of conf you know conflicting stories with like the per the people weren't supposed to fight with there wasn't supposed to be a lot of conflict, right? So w when when finally after Gene had been dead for a while and they were going to create this new series, and they did it on the space station, they could do the conflict. That's why it's so... These characters are such fucks, because they finally could create characters that are more flawed. That's what they oh, wanted. Oh. I got I got to call that fucking Cisco because it. I never liked them anyways, awesome. but, you know, the, the reason being is because he sounded like... He was comes to 
you know, the silver screen, you know, it's mm-hmm. not necessary for him to go so much over the top. And he, like, I mean, Kirk, again, William Shatner, uh, was a stage, uh, you know, actor as well. He went fucking extreme. He didn't go as extreme as Avery Brooks, though. Avery Brooks was, I think, use, utilizing too much of fucking um, stage performance to perform as Cisco. Although his character was fucking obviously very intriguing. Lost right. his wife against the Borg, totally fucking devastated. You know, has nope. to raise his son. Has Spoiler to alert! To a new place. Like Spoiler. when you say that Shatner That's went the first too episode. extreme, what do you mean? Like, know, like when he was like forgetting his lines. No, no, no. Just, like, just, no, I know, no, listen, I know exactly what Dave is saying. Cadence but of speech. Cadence, cadence of speech. I know he's talking. he's talking about the way he speaks, but here's the thing. I think they just wanted to find another person because you got you got Kirk, right? And Kirk's like, Spock, you know, uh, load torpedo pay n- number four, you know. And so it's Kirk had this very specific way. And then Picard is like, shields up, he's number one, go actor. to. And so, another stage actor. Well, I heard that Shatner but, said that he forgot his lines a lot, so he would always pause. And try to remember. He would. He, he would do that a, a lot. He would, he would read his lines right but, before he would do this. But Avery Brooks had kind of like a, don't you tell me in. that we're not gonna go there without him there, like a, like a I, very. It's more like, don't you tell me, to, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it green like, woman's again, pussy, uh, puffing and puffing and stuff. And again, it's not like he's not a good <laughs> actor. Of course he is. It's not that he's a compelling. Char- he's not a compelling. Blah, that he's compelling. not. A, Telling character because he is, and the story itself, raising a single child, your your mother, your your wife dies after facing the Borg and stuff, and now you got to manage a fucking space station in the middle yeah. of a fucking war zone. Yeah. It is compelling, but the way that he conducted himself and acted, I think at some points was too much stage and not enough fucking TV. And you know what, uh, Mastodon, go fuck yourself. He says, hey, he finally did it. Dave talked the show to death. How about eat shit, asshole? Because <laughs> I brought it I up. both love fucking Star Trek. I did bring it up too. I, I love Star Trek. I know a lot of people don't care, but like we're dorks. We really and should just talk about Star Trek all Deep the time. Deep Space Nine. We're trying to vary yeah, it. We're so, talking about politics, and we're, wrestling, and Dave, all over things. We're you know? talking about. The, this, we're now talking about our least favorite Star Trek, dude. That's the funniest. Yeah, part. Deep Space Nine. <laughs> and, oh um, my god. So can I ask? Can I answer Dave's question? Uh, yeah. So She Hulk. It was okay. I saw the first three episodes. Um, and it was actually ass. No, it was terrible. You shouldn't watch it. I don't recommend it. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I, I suggest kinda, you don't. I kind of feel the opposite. Because, because I kind of liked it. Because, look, I'm taking it as, like, this fucking Ally McBeal stuff. Like, hey, they're going to fucking... <laughs> superheroes are here and there in his like past. Hey, there's nothing There's nothing, There's nothing. nothing more like... It's like, it's like hey, here, superheroes are going to keep coming up. So now they're taking it as a comedy and spoofing it up like, um, like Deadpool. Breaking the fourth but wall. Dead, I like that. Deadpool like had that action in it. She Hulk broke the fourth wall before Deadpool did. So, so she says better. she says in one line, uh it takes in the comics years. though. In the comics she that's was doing true. that since the eighties. She I says thought, I think that's pretty badass that they're they're doing that kind of weird shit. They do there's they some will. things I do like, but she says to Bruce Banner, uh I'm a woman, so I can control my emotions. That's why I can control my Hulk. But just five minutes before that, she almost killed a guy because he hit on her. He didn't touch her. He didn't do anything wrong. All he did was say, like, oh, you're pretty or something. And she she killed him. She could have killed him. We don't know. Well, well, we don't, we don't know on. because nerdy, he got, nerdy. she got stopped. Nerdy, hold on. Woman, emotional. Pick one. No, I agree. I'm just telling you what the I mean, show it's said. It's both. It's both. <laughs> exactly. That's the point. So th- yeah. the thing is that I that's fine. It's whatever. It's a woman. It could be a man, emotional. I don't give a shit. Dude, they're gonna they're they're introducing abomination. They're gonna probably do red hole. Abomination? Yeah. Obama Obamination. Oh, Obama. <laughs> uh, let me let me tell you, uh the, the <laughs> earth is it's done. The earth is done. Now. Regardless though, is that Michelle's actually gonna dick with, with regards to that character that he shouldn't have been able to turn back. He was already changed into his character and then you know they've made it look like he was able to turn back and stuff. And uh this was already pre pre established by the MCU. So they're again going back and retconning shit and just trying to change it so that it works for their fucking stories. You're right. I don't like that they call I don't like that they call Marvel six one six at all. I, in the Marvel in the Marvel movie cinematic universe. I don't like it. 
I'm like, dude, 616, we already know it's established a different way. They should just call it, you know, 616 or something. Fuck it. 69. 619, homie. 619. 187. Dominique, my knee. I had surgery five times. Orndorf. My son's going to turn heel on me tomorrow. <laughs> He's going to be the worst pay per view ever. Neil, are you ready to turn heel? Oh. I'm gonna. I mean, my, where, where can I get a tamale in 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 Welch? I mean, like those, Bales, whatever the fuck I am. I mean, I don't me, even let know. Let me take. Let me take you to the nearest donkey show. These you aren't like the gringos back show. home, son. It's like, Dad, we're in Wales. There's no donkey show. No, I've been here before. These oh, fuckers no. are stab of donkey you. shows. They'll stab There's you in Wales, man. We we'll go to London. Yeah, they'll stab you. Maybe first and last time in Wales. It's not. <laughs> Dad, what's that? That's a gypsy. No. Oh. <laughs> Would you want to go to Wales? Burn it with fire. I'm from you that. I'm, see a bitch that don't make. I'm from that area. I, I'm heavily from that area myself. So. Really? That's, oh that's yeah, your people. Yeah. Yeah, those Chad. are my people. I thought you were from Chad. That's only oh. the. That's like my toenails from there. <laughs> no, that's just uh, what. Uh, How black is that? Twenty three and, and me again. It's already been proven. Twenty three and me was injecting false information into uh, people's uh, uh, DNA reports because this is uh, ancestry. They were finding people that were too white, so they wanted think, to fuck things up. I think it's all that shit is just. It's just fake just to get your DNA. It's not fake, but it ain't a hundred percent either. It's a bunch of yeah. guessing. Well, uh, I think Gargots is onto something here. Uh, mm. if you take a look at what the elites like and what the Mormons, for example, uh, show an example to is yes, they like to catalog everyone's DNA. Because once you've got a copy of the DNA, you can then say, Hey, we're gonna start to manipulate it and now you don't own your own DNA. This exactly. is exactly fact- this is this is like uh, remember when you would go to school and they would like uh, McGruff or whatever fucking uh, anti uh, crime hero would come by your your, right. your yeah and they would fucking print Winners, your fucking don't do drugs oh I just yeah, looked at my they ancestry would get your, your thumbprints and your fingerprints and everything they're like oh this is fun oh look yeah, at the school look that you go to you get a you get a, get a <laughs> hug and I'm yeah just, he passed you the doll. and I was just like what the fuck this is stupid so I refused it. They didn't like that. <laughs> no, they never oh, do. Is, yeah. uh, I think you're talking about the detention camp, not a fucking school, because we no, certainly... This was, this was in, like, 88, man. This shit sucked. Yeah, oh, in the middle of the desert, we had this fucking container, and we went in there, and they told us they needed our, our pants. I was wrong. And they, sl- uh, and they slapped us and uh, threw a water on us? I was wrong. Look at Wales. It's like I'm only a part of Wales. Look at that. So oh, you're sure. mostly English, somewhat Scottish, and um, oh, all the way to Switzerland. Hey, hey, yes. Wow. Actually, here's the, here's the list right here. Hold on, I got it. Um, you ever crave fucking tea and crumpets? He's white, y'all. He's whiter than white. You know, he's, he's white. white. There you go, right there. So <laughs> northern, uh, 39% England and northwestern Europe. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start. I, I, out, I, I'm how, doubting how much, that because your teeth are a lot better. How much was this to yeah. take this? Because this, I want to. I want you to take it a te- uh, again and see if you get the same result. This is but current. This is still current. This was most recent. Yeah, this is like right now. Yeah, <laughs> Scotland. Yeah. Yeah. Northern Italy. Okay, so you're the white of the Italians. Germanic Europe. Zig Heil. Uh, Ireland. Uh, I don't see Irish. Chad anymore. Yeah, Wales. Argentinians really coming out, huh, Dave? Oh, absolutely, always. Aegean <laughs> Islands, which is in Greece. It does say updated 2022. Mm-hmm. The Aegean yeah. Sea. Now France is back on the list. That wasn't on there last time I looked. Wow, they're so just they're figuring they're out all these things. They're changing it on you. They're changing it. They're changing it around, and I don't see Chad. Southern Italy, 2%. Do you all 1,800-plus What? Regions tested. You have more than that. You have more than that? No. no, they tested different areas. Oh, you dumb okay. fuck. Hey, what if what if he's <laughs> fucking like unknown? I'm basically from World War II. That's unknown? my genetic, uh, you know, makeup. It's like unknown origin. Mm. Probably Sick. off planet. It's like eighty five percent Nazi. <laughs> I mean, you can see this is where the Nazi. I, I have a little Austrian. Rape and killing people. Fifteen percent Martian. Uh-huh. Yeah, that I, would I explain got, how you talk. I got some Austrian. 
touch it explains yeah. your jizz cycle like, like when you jizz and it goes to the right uh, uh, well. strangely enough um nerdy was funnier than you are so uh how about oh. shut the Hell fuck yeah. up oh Hell yeah oh my god oh, no, I'm not. oh. Sorry. you got a lot of german in you excellent <laughs> Oh, you, you, you know, you always have a place with He's, me in South yeah, America. I have German. Actually, you know I want to talk about that. Joe, you must have seen this at least. Um, I know, you know, fucking <laughs> dipstick here is fucking not even aware about what happens in Latino happenings. But mm -hmm. you can see the video <laughs> online. Uh, the current vice president of Argentina, who was a former uh, president... She's a peronist and a piece of shit. Yeah, gun uh, pulled on her. Penis? There was an attempted assassination on her. Whoa. Uh, the, the idiot didn't test his firearm out, so it jammed when he tried to shoot her. <laughs> and Is I don't want to get her in trouble, but it would have been very nice if perhaps she had expired. You but, think it was uh, a work? <laughs> well, it certainly was a work. Like Dave it was Rose. a shoot work. A shoot work. <laughs> But, uh, you know, um, yeah, you can see the video online literally pulls up the gun to her head, shoots the, you know, the gun, but it, it jams on him. And then he mm -hmm. just quickly retreats. But she <laughs> recognized what was going I've on. I think I've seen this video. What the this happened like literally two days ago. Wait, does she kick yeah. his ass? Like, does she like drop him? No, he looks no she, she sort of, she recoils and he runs away and then everyone just starts looking around. But to be honest, though, she is a pernist. Which is okay. So Peronism, by the way, Peron, uh, uh, yeah. Juan Peron was basically the dictator of Argentina prior to World War II and afterwards. He was a huge fan of the Nazis, and um, basically Peronism is a combination of both South American socialism and Nazism. Okay, Dave, is there going to be a quiz on this one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, like, there will be a test. So uh, yes, any anybody who supports Peronism basically supports Nazism and fucking South American socialism. Peronism lies is a, matter is a piece of shit, <laughs> and um, the fact is that um, yeah, you can see this video online, Joe. I'd suggest maybe showing it. Um, you got a lot of different angles and stuff, and uh, unfortunately, the gun didn't go off, but uh, it went oh, right geez. up to her face. And if this idiot had actually planned properly. Um, Argentina might have a better leader at this point. Don't try to shoot me, Argentina. Wait, wouldn't their wait, leader wait, wait. be the they same? Try to shoot. The truth be... is, your gun well, just jammed. Now, the a I, 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 was, I just want to say that he, the ABC News covered this more. ABC News apparently covered this more than uh, Kavanaugh's assassination attempt. You raised a piece of shit. <laughs> Joe, out of all the wrestlers that shouldn't have a last match, what wrestler would you like to see have a last match? Triple H? Chris Benoit. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, he did. Way. We just didn't see it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> he, mm. was, he was fucking framed. He did not kill his family. Mm. You think? Owen Hart. I want to see uh, maybe the Velveteen Stand Dream. That statement. Velveteen okay. Dream. Chris Benoit is innocent. Framed. Oh, yeah, we went over this earlier. Tell his kid that. I want, yeah. yeah, we did for hours. Well, that sucks. Vice Dave the fan club. Wow. I they, believe you. Yeah, when, you got it, Joe. That guy would have got her. Like, yeah, he if, if he wasn't President. stupid and actually made sure his gun worked. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you think it's a look at this? Vice look how close he got to her. Wow. This, well, he should have brought a fucking knife. <laughs> well, he wow. should have. Wow. Backup plan. Bro. Going viral already shared millions of times on social media. Wow, it's crazy. Greeting supporters as she returned to her home in Buenos Aires. When That's fucking, you know what that is? That's fucking the Illuminati fucking protecting her. Dude, no, you know what it is? Is it, Well, I don't know what it is, but that's crazy. I'll tell you what it is. It's it's basically attempting to make her look like a victim. This gun was made to uh, go off falsely and, and not work because the whole plan is to make her look like a victim. That's, that's a what I was thinking. They're, they're going to try to get her reelected. That's a simple fact. You think but so? She's her a vice husband, by the way, who died suspiciously, uh, was also, again, look, what, she was the wife of a former prime minister, uh, sorry, president of Argentina. So they switched positions multiple times running uh, the country. Sex position? That's already suspicious as it is. I These see. people are corrupt as fuck. And I'm telling you as an Argentinian, don't trust an Argentinian. 
<laughs> yeah, he might leave you 12 different times and do seven hours on you every time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, that's great. <laughs> Pointing the weapon right at her head. I, I, uh, wow. Yeah, right there. There's different angles, though. There's different angles where he, you could see it. Like, he goes right up to her head. Pulls the a trigger and, and while Fernandez obviously was seen grabbing her head, she was not injured. Fernandez's security detail quickly swarmed the man and took him into custody. The Fernandez is currently vice president no, that, of Argentina. It's funny that they terms, say that Argentina's because when you president. look at it, everyone's like looking confused. Like, what happened? What happened? Yeah, I didn't yeah, see that. Really? Grab him. Yeah, no. Maybe they eventually got him. But, uh, I mean, the fact is, like, well, how good is her security detail if he literally went up right to her face? And put a gun right. to it. Right. The security kid, wasn't doing too good. I mean, how, you gonna, been better if he, how do you defend against that, though? You know, that's... It, it would have been better if he slept with a dildo. With a fucking security detail. Mm. Come Just on. Big-ass black dick and he slapped That was her. right outside her That would have been the I best guess. political move ever. She got oh, slapped man. by a big black dick. It's too bad she didn't get offed. It would have been so much better. She would have sucked it. What <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <laughs> sucked the gun... <laughs> <laughs> oh god i i i believe it i i i'm Gun there play. it could be some kind of conspiracy thing for a what's it called a a martyr type of without dying situation whatever you want to call that but i will oh, I'll, I'll believe it i'll believe it's real but, anti-martyr you know but yeah I, I could see that though i could see a false type of thing but i will i know i i, I you know i'm not gonna say it's 100 percent set up you know Joe, I mean, that should be an airsoft remember time. Remember in the 80s, uh, after I believe it was uh, Reagan's second term where mm -hmm. the assassination occurred? Yeah. 84. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was 81. He was got shot, question. though, though, right? Didn't he get shot? Well, he got he, shot. He got yeah. shot, yes. And he, he went just looked off the car. Uh -huh. I believe he got AIDS later, too. Yeah. Oh, he got yeah. AIDS. What, what no, happened? no. He From said, Nancy. don't put me in a in a room with an AIDS patient. That's what he said. <laughs> he said. Any, <laughs> Anytime oh, that I say no to AIDS. Holy fucking shit. Anytime that a fucking politician gets a like an assassination attempt, their fucking uh, approval rate increases. Right. I mean, Joe Biden People, needs one right now. fucking set this shit up. Tell so, that to... Uh, you know what I think is going to happen? I think Joe Biden is going to mysteriously fall down some stairs to, like in the next couple of weeks. Don't you mean no, fall... Don't you mean fall dream? Up some stairs? They might fall up them, yeah. It might fall. What was, that, what, was that bike. One, what was that one bitch that got shot in the face in Arizona? Yeah, that's right. She lived too. There you go. Uh, Janet, she, she's uh, still a senator, I believe. Yeah, she's still Janet around. Paul 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 yeah, dude, she's running Paul. again for office. You're right on that shit. Yeah, she's that bitch is still around. She was the mm. wife of a dude. She was the wife of a politician too that got killed. The guy who shot Reagan is free. Yeah, the situation he only, where it could have been avoided. Didn't the guy what? who shot Reagan didn't he get fifteen years and he's out? Yep, he's no, out he was in a house until just a few years ago. Democrat, uh, you know, judges, but he yeah. did it to impress Jody Foster. You would think what? that if right. you yeah. what? No, it's what? true. Yes. No, it's really yeah, he was obsessed with her. He thought yeah. that she had told yeah, him true, to go assassinate Reagan. He and and, and a guy who heard voices in his head is out after shooting the president of the yeah. United States. I mean, this is in my head. <laughs> Remember that show, uh, Greatest American Hero? Remember that? Yeah. The the guy who played the teacher, the, the lead guy, his character's name was Mr. Hinckley, uh, mm -hmm. but that happened around the same time that, that happened. The right. guy who shot Reagan, his last name was Hinckley, Hinkley, so they yep. had to change it to, to, to Handy. Mr. Handley. Yeah, Mr. Handley. I'm yeah. <laughs> not handy. <laughs> Mr. Handy. Mr. Handy. Mr. Handy, the Christmas poo. Yeah, but yeah. did you guys know that Hinckley's father was involved in the um, military industrial complex? No, the um, and, the Philadelphia. Not what's what's the experiment? What's it called? Not the Philadelphia experiment. The uh, oh, uh, Manhattan Project. It's one. It it might be that. I don't remember. It's one of those though. It's seriously like it's he's not well, kidding. His father was basically involved in the military industrial complex. And, and these are the people. He was, he was just like Jim Morrison's dad. And Kale people, Trump. and you know what, uh, yeah. Jimi Hendrix. All these people in all these parts of uh, pop culture and stuff and and music. A lot of them 
had like their parents were literally part of the CIA, part of the defense industry aid agency uh, or intelligence agency. Um, these people were basically part of the deep state. Yeah, it's weird how the it's like they what it's like you're experimenting on your kids. Like I don't understand what's going on here. Yes. It's always yes. that. The guy who shot Robert Kennedy still in jail 54 years. Later. Remember the kid uh wow. one of the the Newtown kids or whatever that what's his name and his father's involved. It's like very bizarre. Yeah. Oh, even well, even, the, even the kids that were involved in in Columbine, their like their fathers were involved with the FBI and like CIA d defense industry, well, like all these. What about Yolanda? Uh, now, now it makes me wonder what Yolanda Salivar was fucking involved in. If she killed Selena, and she's she's gonna be Pussy. out in like two and a half years. She and, was involved uh, in dick sucking. Twenty five. Dude, she was involved in some lesbian, lesbian shit. That's what it was. Yeah, she wanted to well, bang well, Selena. How old was Selena again when she died? I think yeah. twenty one. Right. I believe she's fourteen. She was old enough to bang. Selena oh, was like 20, 21 or 22 or something 20, like that. Something like that. Dude, what a terrible way to die. It's it, She, she might have been older than that. She might have been 26 when she died. Selena. She turned maybe she turned potentially 27. Off. Let's look at that. How many Selena artists have died at 27 under mysterious circumstances? That's true. Right there, look, let's just be honest. A... These people sacrifice people because she was twenty three. Okay, she's yeah, I'm looking at it. Well, actually, that's another fucking number. The number twenty three. Michael that's Jordan. That is an even crazier <laughs> number. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Twenty seven. Whoa. Yeah, twenty seven. Oh, actually, and, and, it's twenty. And, and oh, that's another Michael number. Michael Jackson is that he's, uh, Michael Jackson, Kurt Cobain, whoever the fuck. White fact is, these people are more valuable to those that own their records. Mm -hmm. Slaves. When they're dead. Oh, you raised a piece of shit. Right. Which of these last matches would get the highest star rating right now? Nash, Flair, Foley, Trish, Lawler. Nash. Wait a minute. Suck it. I would say. I'd say it's Flair or Nash, probably. To be honest, I mean Foley, Foley and Flair, probably. Yeah, I just said Nash because I like him. Nash well, is like just there one too. One more fucking time. You sell a lot of things because you're gay. Nash the terrorist quads. But we have to say Trish. It's gonna get a high like, match. Trish. Negatory. That's gay. But, yeah. No, you don't think so. I mean, the ass alone can get a lot, uh, half a million. Hmm. Mm. Two million. Thank you for the donation, though. I think. Um. By the way, if the show ended right now, Colonel Stutters and D Walsh are tied. So we need somebody to break this. Uh, Break and again, it's still fans. Thousand dollars get Dave Roseband. Give points to Melly. Thousand bucks and Dave is gone. Melly, Melly. If Melly, you give Melly, points Melly. to Melly, show us your generous one. Show us your power. And Dave gets a two hundred dollar <laughs> paycheck. For Strike me down. Show. Make me more powerful. Mm. <laughs> but but now that I'm paying, now that I'm paying really close attention to my bills, a thousand bucks means I take three hundred out for taxes. You take two hundred out for Dave's payment, and then I'm really left with about, f uh, you know, five hundred bucks. <laughs> taxes, yeah. make it, make it the IRS, taxation, it's theft. Eighty-four thousand new agents. You know, there's a farmer in Bill Ricka, Mass, who's refusing to pay three hundred thousand dollars in back taxes. Actually, like, you know what's crazy is this, this has actually happened in Italy. There's a whole city that's basically they're they're filming this. The, the video's online. They're all going to the, the streets. They're burning their fucking electricity bills. They're like, we're not paying because the, the electricity is literally like in Germany, for example, it's ridiculously high. Yeah, eight hundred percent. Like, and and people are stockpiling eight hundred, eight hundred percent at least. Oh my, that's a societal. Up. You're but, seeing a bit of a. I mean. Okay, so what's happening here too, by the way, this isn't a major issue, but it is a minor societal breakdown when you think about that. When when people start saying, you know what, I don't care anymore. Like that's a oh. scary thing. That's when you get to the when that's the system breaking down and it's starting. And so people better, you know, they I hope the government's and we gotta in shit. consider this. Not only are people stock stockpiling wood, 
the government is now saying, now you've got to stop. You can't buy any more wood. You can only you buy can't, certain amounts of stuff. And they're going to tell but you you can't burn it soon. They're going to be like, you can't burn wood. It, po it pollutes well, that. Yeah, why? Because, oh, it creates carbon. Meanwhile, yeah. carbon actually is good for the environment and so forth. But they're going to start to do exactly that, Joe. They're going to try to... And they're doing this in America already. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, oh, we're going to eliminate the, the use of... Um, you know, like uh, wood burning stoves and stuff. They're trying to do the same thing here. Yeah, dude. What the fuck, bro? It's like, dude, this this is minor compared to other stuff, and this is natural. This is like you said. You have to have a certain amount of carbon too in the fucking air to keep create the. You know, what I mean, it all plays together. You know. Well, yeah, I'm surprised you guys haven't mentioned the fact that California here in the United States wants to ban gas vehicles by 2030. I think they already. Ha that's. I think that's already a thing. I think it's already. They're going to. I don't think it's th that they want to. I think that's already written. You're right. It passed. Yeah, by 2030. Mm -hmm. uh, Gavin Newsom. What California is saying, but you know what? Right now, they're actually telling people don't recharge your your yeah. your car. They don't have they're the electrical grid for this. And they, that's what's so funny is that people keep pushing for this green energy crap and they don't realize you're not, you don't, first of all, the American infrastructure is shit. It's been allowed to go to shit. Mm -hmm. So oh. how the fuck are you going to be able to charge all these cars? They're going to rely on an electric system that can't support it. Build what? More nuclear plants? I thought those were bad. One, let, me what, let me say, tell you one something too. One one day of electrical charging is the equivalent to three of your air conditioners running all day. So think about the outages now when people's ACs get turned on. What yeah, happens when you're fucking off. charging a car? In yeah. California, 270 homes in a specific area were shut off that were using Google Nest. They were just manually turned off by the electric company because they they wanted to conserve power. That's crazy. It's it's happened. Well, like, they're also installing on on uh, water pipes. They're installing these limiters that allow for only a certain amount of water to come through in California. Right. So yeah. it's basically a, like limiting how much you can actually use and stuff. It's it's insane. Yeah. So there'll, there'll be days of the week where all of a sudden the the faucet is running like shit, and you're like, "What is this?" Yep. Not that that matters as much as Flint in their poisonous water. By the way, my town is poisonous water. I'm not allowed to drink the water. They've sent out letters uh, for the last yeah, uh, but 10 California's years. California's going to run out of water real quick because of fucking relying yeah. on Lake Mead, which is now practically exhausted. Dude, it's so crazy. It's unbelievable because I have no problem. None of us do with alternative energies and electric cars and different things. I don't think any of us have a problem with that. It's the mandating. I do. It's, uh, well, I don't have a problem with it, but I have a problem with mandating that you must go this way. That's a problem. When you're mandating something, controlling how everyone's going to use whatever. I mean, the oil companies and essentially have done that for years, but now, you, know, you don't want to be mandating things a certain way. When the infrastructure isn't there. I mean, I'm a retard who has a GED. The infrastructure isn't there on the electrical grid oh, to yeah. handle this. Or... How about you look at, uh, there's a video that came out recently, uh, I wish I had it for you, Joe. Um, okay, so in California, you've got charging stations. Okay, that's great for electric cars. They're literally on, on one street, for example. Mm. Someone what? just made a puddle of mud. We farted. That was a shit. Someone shit themselves. Who was that? I don't know. Was that... I don't know who it was, but I someone should. Is that AJ himself. Adams? It was AJ Adams in his sleep, dude. It was. AJ oh my god! It is him. Shush, shush, shush. Did a fart snore. Wait, oh god, dude. Listen, listen. It, listen. It. Combination. That's really him. Oh, that was so gross. Did you rewind that? Yeah. Oh no, he crashed. I crashed it. His his shitting crashed the whole stream. Oh my god! <laughs> god dude, that was nasty. He was like, <laughs> did you hear? He goes, Burr. oh my god, dude! It's not like a death rattle. He I might didn't. be dead. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Go Shins ahead. Up. We're in the middle of something, Dave. Go ahead. The charging stations, and we get cut off. Okay, so uh, yeah, so basically, there's a video going out these days. It's viral. Okay, so charging stations available on these streets on uh, in L.A. Um, Along the street, there, the entire sidewalk for, I don't know, 100 fucking feet full of homeless encampment. 
all these tents and shit. Who's going to fucking plug in their car and charge it right next to a homeless encampment? It's, the same people that fill up their cars in Roxbury, Massachusetts. I mean, like, you know, you got to fill up your car. But yeah, you're going to get, you might, there's going to be, you're, you're going to have to be stopped there for 30 minutes or 20 minutes or 15 minutes. I think it's 15 minutes the minimum. Ooh. I heard, I heard, I heard, it. I heard yes. it that time. Yes, you heard yeah. it. You shit himself. So 15 minutes, but I mean, like, dude, the amount of time you're going to get stabbed. Like, who knows what the fuck? Like, you're going to be sitting there. by homeless people. Nobody's going to want to even park there. Nope. You will. And it's going to take the grid down. So they don't even know what they're doing. Yes. Dude, I, I go to I go to a fucking uh, gas station down the street, and there's plenty of homeless people asking you for shit. And I go, ha ha, bro, you got kicks yes. on. That yes, but you know what? 200. But but bucks. dude, but dude, Gargots, The difference is, it you're there. You, it. You're filled up your tank in three minutes. The charging mm -hmm. station, bro. You're gonna be there. I think the isn't the minimum ten minutes or fifteen minutes That's or something. True. Uh, actually, true. I it depends. I think it's usually an hour and a half. Oh, to get half a charge. Hey, all it all it says, all you need to say is, I ain't got no money. Fuck. Yeah, I ain't got no money. I just got the seventy-eight thousand dollar car here. Yeah, right. I ain't got no money. And you die, I'm motherfucker, broke. and they stab you. I mean, that's just how it works. Now, well, yeah. well according to Tesla, it, your car is stab proof, so you're good. Well, you could <laughs> maybe if you get in it. You're in a forty, okay, please. You better yeah. make sure you're charging that thing when two, it's not dead. Points. Like you're charging the car at twenty percent. That way, you can get out of there. Don't be charging your car when it's dead. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Now, what if a bunch of homeless people get out of the car and they're like, yeah, motherfucker, we robbed this. You, you, you dress like you're homeless. And they're like, yeah, motherfucker. And then you jump in and you go, fuck these losers. <laughs> well, yeah. Shit. Well, you can you run know, them over, too, and you'll be in the car. Oh, and and um, so, you know, uh, Ford and Chevy have their fucking electric cars, right? So they provide a discount. So uh, I believe, um, was it Biden taxed this to, uh, to the point where... Um, you know, like he he provided this forgiveness or whatever this discount for uh, forgiving buying a, an electric car, uh, like say five or seven thousand. So what did they? What did these companies do? They raised their prices by five to th seven thousand to yeah. match that fucking. It's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, this, oh, this, you whole, thing, give this up. whole green thing is a fucking scam, people. Yeah, I mean, yep. it's really like it's 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 not this brilliant thing that people think it is. I mean, I like I like the stuff too. I do, but it's been completely hijacked by fucking government weird scumbags. Hey, let, let's let's look at it this way. There are people in the world that are developing technologies that include, for example, bugs that eat plastic. Okay? And then what they uh, excrete from their bodies from eating this plastic is uh, dissolvable and by bi you know uh, biodegradable in the environment. So you put these little bugs to eat plastic, they eliminate it. There's mm -hmm. technology that allow plastic to be created into anything that you want, right? Bricks, fucking for houses in in you know areas that are uh, yeah underfunded. Uh, materials that are able to create you know clothing and shit. Like the the biggest things, the this stuff is out there. It's it's you know we have it available to us, and you know we're obviously choosing the opposite. We're choosing just to create more and more waste when we could easily utilize this to our advantage. Do you think archaeologists will be upset when thousands of years from now all they find from our civilizations are are cans of Mountain Dew, red code red? No, oh, you don't have so cans. Cans will degrade. If there's anybody left Silicon alive Dildos. at that point, I think. Silicon I think aluminum. Has anybody tried the, the, the flaming hot Mountain Dew? We have the ability, literally, to eliminate our species from the entire planet. We I could also, nuke the entire planet, and no human will be left alive. Now, will other things continue to survive? Yes. I also don't but appreciate you human, calling. Will not. You shouldn't call Luis Alejandro a big-eyed bug who eats plastic and shits that stuff out. That's not nice, dude. Wow, that is not. Don't nice. Don't you think dude. in the future? Right. Don't you think in the future with the three D printers mixed with sort of what you see in Back to the Future slash Star Trek with the replicators that basically all houses will have like a an 
a, a like a thing you open up like a microwave and then also like a, a thing where you throw stuff out. So you take cans, plastic and stuff, trash, your own trash, and you stick it in the machine and it gargles it up and processes it and filters it and cleans it and sterilizes it and processes it back into a, its original material. And then you yes. can select on the printer and totally. then it pops out new stuff. You know? Yes. Uh, it, it's got to totally. be. And, and, and again, if, if you understand the, 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 the basic sense of matter is that a, a replicator is not that difficult to comprehend, as in because matter is basically energy and you can transfer, you know, again, it's alchemy, it's alchemy. So the whole idea of like being able to change lead to gold isn't a fantasy. It is changing the vibration of a certain component, no. atom, whatever you want to call it and then adjusting it accordingly. There's no reason why that's not possible, you know, with something like a replicator. Do we need to advance in technology? Like inflation. To that? Yes. But is that impossible? Shit bomb! In theories? No. Joe Farscape or Firefly? Firefly, man. Are you talking about Firefly, the game? Firefly, baby. Yeah. The movie, uh, the TV show? Hollywood guy, thank you for the $2. That's Serenity not was the movie. Oh, but Serenity. Firefly was the... The great series that only lasted us uh, uh, one, one one season, you know, series one season, on Fox and uh, or one season, sorry, um, and they did you know put the order in the wrong way, but uh, yeah. yeah, one of the greatest fucking again, it was a space opera, cowboys and fucking space, and it was okay. before this whole cowboys and zombies and in the movie. It sounds really gay. Reverbs are alien. Uh, you like sound that. very gay, but <laughs> yes. this is a yes, fucking great show, and people got to check it out. Okay, I, I have the all you're missing podcast. is the weather and sports, Dave, and you have a complete newscast. Part of me wished I never saw it because it was yeah, only one season. Cool. It drove me nuts. Okay, let's talk about weather then. Um, a lot of tornadoes happen these days. Uh, it seems to be the harp is active again, and uh, a lot of uh, chemtrails going on. Mm. Anything it's else? A, it's eleven eleven. People make a wish. Oh. Eleven eleven. What what time zone are you in? Fucking Eastern? Or sorry, Western? Yeah. Pacific? The West Coast, my folks. My folks. So my you, homies, do you live in homies. California then? No, but shout out to my homies on the Pacific Standard Time. In Tifa, you mean? <laughs> 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 uh they have guns now. Uh, oh, Joe, dude, dude. Uh, what's up? Ahead, dude. Okay, uh, Joe, did you see uh, Mickey James <laughs> recently on Impact? Yeah, your tits in that fucking outfit. It, can you maybe show that to people? Because I think maybe they God. deserve. Forty-three. Yeah, She's bro. 40, I thought she was forty-five. I almost, but regardless, I don't get weird. Woman, I almost jerked off, bro. <laughs> Even her husband, Aldis, on 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 uh, Twitter was like, "I uh, and like you know, ellipsis, as in multiple dots." Uh, lost my train of thought. Dot dot dot. And by the so, way, like, uh, he oh has me God. blocked on on Twitter. That guy. Nick Hold Aldis. Does? Yeah, Nick Aldis. Look yeah. yummy tonight. Nick Aldis, if you're listening right now, you got to get this guy unblocked, please. What are you doing? Oh, this ain't it. This is a different thing. Oh, but my God, like wow, this is oh my it's, God. it's very very productive, provocative. That's productive. not even it. It's the one from the other day Ray where Park she gave that speech. Chance. No, here it is. Dave Rose is very conflicted. He wants to be very conservative right now and tell you to cover up, but oh uh, it's very difficult for uh, me to do so after seeing such a beautiful, beautiful individual. Right, and no, it's not, that's not the one. There's another one. She's in the ring. You want me to send you the link? I'll send you the link. Isn't this it? Wait a minute. Look at this one. Oh, this the one. Oh, 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 oh. Joey Jojo. Oh, my God. Some good links. Bro, Holy shit. what is happening here? Like, this is crazy. How old is this lady? 40 something, 40. 43, 45. Yeah, she's oh. she's under 45 years old. 43. And she certainly doesn't look it. Do you think that her boobs are rock hard? No, I think Except they're kind of softish, but they're just, oh, they're big. They're huge. Her boobs. My the rooms are getting me rock hard. That, that button there is just like can't break, can't break. Mm. I did see this the other day. Yeah. I almost passed out. I fucked her. I want to dance with somebody. Metallica opened up for you. Nope. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, Pink Floyd opened up for me. Well, 
you know, it's getting close to time. The, the, the show may be ending, and to be honest, we might have a tie. You know, mm. not the. I mean, we might have a fucking tie. This is crazy. Todd Fair's negative seven hundred thousand because of D Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> pretty crazy but it will be back tomorrow in the afternoon for clash at the castle so that's we're getting ready for watch that. along or are you doing it a- yeah i think i might go live with it I and mean, there's a part of me that oh, i almost ditched it dude i almost well, i almost decided to go to my daughter's cheerleading thing i don't know you should take the family to the movies tomorrow it's only three bucks to get in a piece what what it's Tomorrow's national. nationwide it's three dollars admission to the movies everywhere every movie theater that's really what yeah, yeah, all day tomorrow yeah, on the third. And popcorn coke is five bucks total. What? Yeah. So I can go see like Spider Man, the fucking. They and they brought back Spider Man No yeah. Way Home. They brought back Jaws. Um, wow. I wonder what they're playing it's tomorrow. First run movies too. Yeah, what they, they brought back Spider Man for like, Star Wars: The New Hope on the big screen. I want to dance. See an early one somebody. before the rest. Um, Spider Man No Way Home. Okay, and I didn't see that, so I should go check. Oh, I could go see Top Gun. I haven't seen the second one yet. Elvis. Mm. I heard that was oh, pretty dude, good. I, actually, I, I've, I no, watched Elvis. It's I've heard good. the Top Gun's better than the first one now because it's so dated. The first one. Uh, it's pretty up there. No, shut the fuck up, millennial. The fact is, I was born on my auntie commie ways. And um, that's a great movie that still stands up, the first Top Gun. So just because you guys don't get it, did you not? Did, wait, hold on. You can shut the fuck Listen, up. Listen, I like, I like I the first you one. That I love the fucking first cinematographer that ever fucking existed that did it. And I bet you can't even fucking name his goddamn name. So shut your fucking mouth, motherfucker. All right? Yeah. Negatory. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Got him. Yeah, Gargots yeah, knew bro. him. Relax with the cox wax, okay. Oh, I, I'm gonna put the slap you with the cox wax. Yeah, you gotta slap nobody. I gotta watch the first one again. It's been about eight years or so. I watched a few scenes from the, the new one, and holy shit, do they look fucking good. Like. Dude. It, and hearing like it, it, right now, how, like this is one of the largest grossing movies, I mm-hmm. believe, in recent history. Oh yeah, dude, the, and it's the best, the biggest movie of the year now. It's like, the, and here's the thing: is when I first saw it, I thought it looked maybe a little stoic, and I was like, yeah, you know what? It's going to do pretty good, but you know, it's going to be too stoic for people and and flat for the casual audience. But the man, y- yeah, dude, it, it's five. blown things away. And then it's, it's just there's like, no woke. They're not specific. They're not woke. They're not focusing right. on one thing. Even the enemies even fucking mentioned that it was just such a good feeling film that just people like to go watch it multiple times. It kind of reminds me a little bit of how Bill and Ted, even though Bill and Ted did have a little like a little bit of wokiness in it, but it, it's kind of like a one point five. It's kind of like a Star Wars uh, episode seven. Like they kind of redo the whole thing, but he oh now yes the instructor. Yes, Gargots, you're right. It is kind of like a redo of the first one, but now it's better because it's you know, like okay. So that's what I had friends that lo- that really liked Top Gun. You know what I mean? People that were like, "I love Top Gun," blah blah blah. But and then but then I've got other friends who said the same thing who are like, "Yeah, I liked Top Gun back in the day, but you know, I went and rewatched it, and it's a little bit weirder now, but it's still good, and I still like it, but it's just a little weirder." Oh, and then they went oh, and great. saw the new movie. And they were like, the new movie is fucking awesome because it's like a redo of the old one, but nowadays, but in a good way. It's not shitty. So it's, re- I don't know, man. So some people are telling me that they like the new one better now. Have you seen, have the, have you the seen dog it? Fight? Okay, so who here has actually seen the entire movie? I've seen it. The first one? Four times. Are you sure? Wait, the original Top Gun or the new no, one? The, no, the second the one, new the, one. The current oh. one, Maverick. No, I haven't no, seen we've Maverick all yet. have seen the original. I've seen yeah, we've all seen the original. We haven't. I haven't seen Maverick yet. Nope. You haven't seen Maverick. Okay, so Gargats, you've opened. You know, sorry, Mar- uh, Metallic opened up for you. Did you see yes, it as sir. well? <laughs> you, yes. You saw the movie. Okay. But, and Metallica fucking shine my boots. Okay. <laughs> Great. Um, now, um, I want to watch it. I don't want any spoilers too much, but I've watched some scenes from it. 
there's one scene uh, where they're using an F-14 to try to escape from uh, these That's forces. That's the dog and, fight I'm talking about. Oh, you already fucking... That was a great moment. It was a great and again, moment when that like, I just it. you know decided to watch these these clips. This alone has convinced me to watch this movie, mm-hmm. you know, straight up because it just it. I was at the edge of my seat on this fucking clip, and because and it lasted so long. Old, he's using the old fucking the fighter that he fucking no, but was the new fighter. It's the way that it was put together, cinematography, uh, the, the story, the way that they reacted, and this thing. The scene was like fifteen minutes long, and I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, I know that this movie's not short. But, like, if these are the scenes that they're putting into this movie, it's fucking incredible. Like, this is something that is just going to keep you at the edge of your seat. So I can't wait well, to watch it. The way it was filmed, movie. too. By the way, you said the way it was filmed. It was filmed, uh, they would wait, wait in fucking, like, 30, 26 minutes or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They would set up everything, and then they would wait for them to fly by. And then say, do it again. They fly by. Do it again. They were using real, you know, fighters. They were just on the ground. That was great, the way they filmed it. Well, there's one Never scene apparently that um, when the Dark Star, uh, which again is predictive programming and trying to hide truth, but uh, the Dark Star uh, plane, which is very similar to uh, what's purported to be the Aurora, um, bl- blows over a fucking, you know, little, uh, I guess, reconnaissance room. It just destroys it. That was a one one shot take that they made for the movie because yeah. they actually real jet flying oh. over it and the yeah. the uh the ground effect that happened from uh destroyed from the plane literally destroyed the the whole set in one take so they could only do it in one take so i mean that's, that again that's... fuck and, and you know that fucking they probably uh, had like a lot of cameras on that too yeah, well they did but fucking yeah. um the production from um tom cruise like this guy really thinks a lot, even with his Mission Impossible movies. He thinks a lot about the what's going to happen afterwards and how to, you know, prepare for it and stuff. So this whole idea of, you know, making it one, sh- you know, one uh, shot, one swoop, and making it work, uh, he was definitely involved with that stuff, and he knew what he was getting into. You know, you don't waste this fucking shot, and he's been involved with directing and stuff too. Like he was really I mean, flying these these fighters right well he was allowed to be in them but he was technically not allowed to touch any of the uh okay of the uh control supposedly but it it's not very difficult for you to just say because like, again the, it's super super it? hornets for example have uh dual seats uh which is what they were flying there um so they could technically disable everything in the uh rear cockpit and allow him to touch everything he wants. And make it and look like it was in the front cockpit. Yeah, I see yeah, what you mean. Yeah. yeah, okay. They did some of that, you know, but fucking there's Cohen articles reverse, that came out. Reverse, uh, filming. Like, yeah, you, but you there's articles the that coffee, came out that conflict with that. I mean, the fact is this guy actually owns jets. I mean, he made a video with that fat fuck. I don't remember what he's called. John Travolta? Uh, James, no, James Corbin. James. Corden? Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah. So they made a video, and he takes him up in an actual jet and shit. Because he owns one, and this guy's an actual pilot. And he freaks the fuck out of him because it was all in preparation for, uh, you know, Top Gun and so forth. But this guy, it, like, cool. Tom Cruise knows how to fucking fly. I don't know if it's the fucking um, Scientology or whatever. But this, guy, <laughs> this guy doesn't age. <laughs> you know those UFOs you've been seeing? Not only does it fucking... age, but this guy fucking is able to do his own stunts and shit. Like, well, the, that. That explains yeah, everything. Yeah, he goes sure. out he, when he lives. When he goes outside of Earth, he he goes outside. When of he Earth, lives, he lives. <laughs> and then and then he comes <laughs> back and he, he hasn't aged at all. He's like, yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> Still fucking it's breaking fucking own. But yeah, he he probably fucking said, "I'm gonna fucking be the highest Scientologist ever," and he owns a spacecraft and he lives outside his fucking Earth. He put. I, yeah, I hope he put sticks in Katie Holmes. Have you have you ever oh. seen him with gray hair? I've never. Have seen you seen her tits? Katie no, Holmes, they're beautiful. He's he's always gonna remain the same. Katie, Katie Holmes, Holmes tits, tits are amazing. They're nice. Oh, yeah, they're like beautiful. Movie? Uh, what was that the movie? Gift, yeah, the Gift, yeah, The Gift, The yeah. Gift. Hmm. I like to check them oh, out. Oh, they're 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 just. It's a nineteen ninety nine movie. What? Remember Harold and Kumar? Because the guy asks him, 
what were Katie yeah. Holmes tits like? Oh, remember the Holocaust? A picture the exact opposite of that. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he <does say> that. <laughs> yeah. They're just they're but, just like they're perfect. Oh That's Dave's nightmare. Not too big, not too small, well proportioned. What's my nightmare? Tits. And it was when he was doing yeah, Dawson's Creek, so it was like it was like really like ah. Oh. I tell you, my nightmare. Fucking, I finally fell off a scooter. I fucking hate those. Oh. On a you and JR's wife. This shit, Jesus. man. No, I fucking. Butt. I went. Yeah. So it was raining, and I go off. Uh, I go down the little walkway or down the little thing, and there's like a, a little Going puddle. Down. Quidget, I am. And the only injury thing that prone, saved me. The only thing that saved me was my bag full of beer. I had three forties and four fucking twenty five ounces. And none of them busted. What? Yeah. Thank God for Steel Reserve. Big so, if true. So I was like, dude, I could have fucking slammed my Steel head Reserve so saved I, my life. He saved I did my kid from assassination. Okay. I, I did slam my, my head a little bit, but not too Don't much. Don't tell the company that I, when they put you in an advertisement because of this. Right. <laughs> and then, and then I, I, I remember this guy in the background. He goes, hey, man. You all right? I know this is a bad time, but do you have a lair? Oh. <laughs> I was like, mm -hmm. what the fuck? Gargutz, would you ever do an endorsement for those electric scooters? Yeah, or I'd just like... fucking bust my ass again. Okay, so you would do a PSA, like, don't ride these scooters, right? Unless you have don't steel reserve this. with you. Yeah, as, 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 long as, as long as they give me fucking, you know, a lifetime of steel reserve, I'm good. Would you... Do an ad for uh, an electric scooter, and then the next day do a PSA about how bad they are. Would you do that if they paid you both steel reserve? I, I mean, would. I'm a scumbag. Twenty four yeah. little hours. I would say twenty four hours. Twenty four hours. That's a what long a time. What difference it makes? That's a you know, long the, time. I'll do the I'll do the fucking Eric Bischoff fucking promo when uh, what's his name went over. Uh, Owen oh, Holt. Colgan. No. Fucking uh, rude. Uh, oh, rude. Fucking Rick e rude. Yes. What was he that? Was DX. <laughs> yeah. You just almost <laughs> fucking came right there. And my ankle hurts. That's why. Oh, from falling off the bike? Or? No, from. So you ever you ever like sleep and your ankle hangs off like the bed? Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. You ever wake up and your ankle's just like it never comes. You got like dystrophy or something? Yeah, because um, it's it? always stressing. It's sitting there, so you yeah. wear on the muscle. Yeah. So that's what I have. On my no, I'm not a freak. Hmm. No, I'm not a freak. <laughs> what? Yeah, you are. So Come on. yeah, I'm just too tall for my bed, man. That's all it is. You are tall. That's right. I keep. I always forget that. We bring it up again, and I always forget it again. I thought, I I thought know, vampires right. hung from you know the feet down, <laughs> like a. <laughs> we know where AJ's family hangs from. Um, let, let me oh. tell you something. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here because I, I gotta get up. I gotta get up early, and and then tomorrow is clash. It's gonna be a big thing. So, I'm gonna wrap it up. Gargots, you staying up to party or what's going on? Yeah, I'm gonna stay up to party. Oh, exactly. Check him out on Gargut's channel. Now Jesse will probably show up. Yeah. If, if, I, don't even know <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen Jesse in like four days. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> yeah. If, you, if you're looking to fall asleep, uh, be sure to tune into Gargut's stream. Yeah. Going, oh. I'll, I'll, put you, I'll put you to sleep. Too. Hey, Nikki J. There he is, too. Yeah, he'll probably show up, too. <laughs> hey, Nikki J. The Weed Guy. He's a $50 patron. Give him kisses. Hey, guys, uh, check out your Patreons because you might have left. Don't leave. By the way, Arknolia Strokel Bean, he's back. VIP. What up, Ark? Uh, and that's I it, man. He could stroke a bean. Strokel my bean. Up. D. Welsh and Colonel Stutters. Man. These guys are co king kings right now. And uh, I will see you tomorrow, man. Guys, I had a good time tonight. I had a lot of fun little discussions. Good time. Dave Rose steering the ship a lot tonight. Gar got steering it, uh, well, to hell. And uh, Always nerdy here with the lesbian talk. AJ Adams shitting his pants. Uh, now his pants match his skin. I got to represent the LGBTQ. Yep. And, Gar and uh, Rostafa thinks it's the 70s. That's fine. Um, and Mr. Pico Boulevard underwhelming I'm thank you so much everybody <laughs> for being here Thanks.
We'll see you tomorrow. Happy have and if we don't see you, have a good you know Labor Day in the, here in America. But we'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow. All out for Sunday. It's good. Fucking it's huge. Sunday. Week. Oh man, three Sunday, days. Sunday, Sunday. Three days of wrestling Sunday. coming up here. Too, too oh yeah, yeah. Peek, long. Peek my dick out. I love you all. I love you guys. Hey, seriously, I might be listening, Gargots. If you're live, I'll listen. All right, we're gonna. All right, all right, you, all right, Wigger. So you call me a Wigger? What was that? I said Weena. Oh, Weena. That's <laughs> Weena. Uh, we, that's oh. my Wigger. All right. Yeah. Double Wigga. down, Gargus. Next time, call him a a Wigger ass bitch. Uh, you know, I hope a dog choked Jesse out with a pillow tonight. <laughs> I, I just hope it. Melly. I'm gonna go Jesse's cuddle with my, my dog. Middle. I'm gonna go cuddle with my dog. I got seven days. Go naked in the forest, fucking in the desert. Uh, you know, uh, smoking weed and uh, praying to moon rocks. So Captain. he'll come back to civilization. Film every moment of you and your dog. I don't understand, Captain. Yeah, real talk. I am a Klingon. Film that I shit. cling on to people. Right here in the desert, uh, you know. Uh. Peace out, homies. Hit that like button on the way out, man. Thanks, everybody. 2.30, not too bad, man. Big day tomorrow, big day the next day. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hollywood guy, thank you. Thank you to D. Walsh dropping $100 tonight, man. And thank you to Todd Fair dropping a hundred dollars tonight as well. Bombs away. Celebrate the co-champs. See you tomorrow.